Hey folks, Force, how's it going, dude? Good to see you. How did you need disaster battles today or just live streams? Uh, it's either disaster, it's either a disaster battle or a live stream. I usually don't do both because they end up competing with each other. So no disaster battle today. Probably tomorrow though. What's he doing? Coming his hair? No, I was just getting everything set up. I comb my hair. I stroke it. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Bro, I stayed up too late playing Imperial to Rome. Now I'm catching a legend stream. Cool, welcome. Iron Burgundy. Hi. <laughs> Is this a no defeats campaign? It's not deliberately a no defeats campaign, but we haven't suffered a defeat yet. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Let's check. Pretty sure I haven't. Yeah, I haven't suffered any defeats yet. Alright, so we were on the move to go and invade Norska, and then invade the Old World. So we've got to go pick up Bellacor. Um, Azazel. Azazel seems fine. And then if we have a look here, Nurgle, okay, Festus is probably still here. Do, uh, okay. Okay, I think Festus is on his way out. I mean, he, hmm. We're gonna have to move pretty fast if we want to get to Festus. I think he's um, he's getting getting smashed. That might be difficult. So it might be best actually to just leave Wolfric alone for a moment, because he's not going to attack us. We sail right past him, sail past Bellicor, and get straight into to Nordland. That might be if we want to save Festus. That might be what we have to do, because it looks like he's in trouble. Okay, it actually might be quicker if I. Get out in the water here. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Bring my mirror shield. True. So that's supposed to go over to. Yes, mm -hmm. ruinous power. Yeah, we gotta get moving. Valkyr, the oh, I didn't remember the transferring that we did. Carnets awakened. Here and transfer. Who just transfer all of them over? Come on, what are you doing? Never stop. And then convert these over to corn. And then I believe I switched this one to be a chosen. Yeah, I just didn't I didn't save it at the end. Because there was no battles to do. Alright, we gotta get out in the water, so do that at Nagrar. We've got to immediately save Festus because we can tell based on the corruption that he probably still has some territory in Hockland, but it's going down, so he doesn't own the entire province. There must be armies in this area. Now, if he's still got some strength ranking, he'll be able to hold that a little bit, but we need to hurry up and get there. Wolfric's not going anywhere, neither is Bellacor, I think. Bellacor can at least be revived. Festus can't be revived, so we need to get over there immediately. What? You need a boom. The gods smile, fool. Let us corrupt. Any trolls here for us? Yep. Cool, grab them. Just pick up pick up units that we can along the way. So we've just done the vows of excess, which has bounced out this. If we Yeah, we, we confirmed that this technology here actually works now, even though it doesn't have the tag there, it actually works now. Do we want Slanesh authority? Yeah, we've got one army with Slanesh. 
Am I going to? Am I going to have a good here? I got a hundred. I got seventy-five surplus of souls. So what do we got here? That's really bad for legendary difficulty. Sure, it makes loads of money, but that would cause revolts constantly, which just means busybody work. I can't be bothered. Um, adding these units to our pool is not too bad. Same thing with that. Only cost us 50 per turn, which I can afford. And I need to spend some in order to get active. Oh, unless I dedicate to the god. I don't see myself doing that right now. Um, that one's not terrible for Warriors of Chaos, because usually they make a good amount of money, and campaign movement range is really good. Yeah, just start dedicating to the, the Chaos God with this one. Okay, and let's... Yeah, let's, let's get uh, Gaze of the Dark Gods. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Because that's all authority, plus one. And that definitely does work. Alright, so... Has everyone moved? I've now got enough armies that it can be difficult to check them all. Okay, so this guy here has got 16, mostly wizards. Got any more hero capacity? No, that's it. Alright, with 16, we could... 16 relatively low-level heroes. I reckon we could cause some mayhem here on Nurgle. So... Obviously we want to occupy this. And and the gallows tree, because of the tradable, res tradable resource. Um, unless I came over here, gave them a... No, it's not worth doing that. Alright, let's go. Where are you? Let's go. We can make it work. We got magic. We can make it work. Off you go. Pick up some shit units along the way if I need to. They usually don't even have a full stack. Which lords are left? So I have now confederated two legendary lords. So there's five left to get. Bellicor, Festus, Azazel, um, Kolek, and Village. Alphamus did a uh, two-year super chat. Thanks for my unkillable slayer disaster battle. I uh, know, Zoop, my pleasure. That video did really well, so it's all good. They will be dominating. Nothing obstructs us. Yep, okay. So I just want to get straight over to Festus because I'm worried that he's going to get killed. Uh, level 31. He doesn't really get shot that much. I don't think that's a huge priority. Good to give him wound maker for sure. And none of his knights oh, actually they're starting to get fairly experienced. Maybe we should think about getting uh, speed and malice. Yeah, let's let's start going down there. They're not gonna make use of it just yet, but they're close to it. Alright, construction, don't think there's much to do, but try to do it. It's good. Yep. And hopefully Malekith leaves us alone while we go and have our old world adventure. Uh, a lot of leveling up to do here. Okay. <laughs> yes. Excellent. For chaos. Can you please explain what are the authority on the same armies does? Sorry. Can you please explain what the authority on the armies does? Well, if you hover over it, it tells you what it does. So this one here, for example, um, negative corn authority, minus five is the most you can have. So increased upkeep cost, increased recruit cost, increased upgrade cost, reduced casualty replenishment cost. But if you got it in the positive, it's the opposite. It provides recruitment cost reduction, casualty replenishment rate 10%, reduced upkeep cost 20%, warband upgrading cost. So basically it makes it easier to manage your army. So what we want with this army here is probably Undivided and Nurgle, because we've got Nurgle heroes here. So this is a good opportunity to just, like, level these guys up. 
and maybe distribute them somewhere else later. I'm not sure what I'm doing with them. Okay, and let's move on. Hey, Mercy, how's it going, dude? Uh, Demeluka, subscribe to Tier 1 on Twitch. They're on a two-month streak. Rego Collect K A Net. Very fitting. Yeah, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Oh, I forgot about that one as well. Can you have positive authority in all armies? Yes. Yep, you can. I don't think it's possible to get 10 authority in all armies, though. Sorry, in, in a single army. I don't think it's possible to get 10 in all regards. I'm not sure. You need someone like Archeon to be able to get 10 authority in every single one. Because, yeah, if you put a hero into the army, they'll increase one type of authority and decrease the, the another by the same amount. Except for Undivided. Nobody really reduces Undivided. The thing is, if you put a Corn one in there, then you'll reduce it by Slanesh. If you put a Slanesh one in there, it'll reduce it by Corn, so it'll balance each other out. Okay, let's tell neutral factions that I don't want to watch you. And also allied factions I don't want to watch. That'll help the end turns go a bit quicker. With Bellicor, I think you can. Maybe. Maybe with Bellicor. Alright, so every turn I just want to come over where is it here and check to see how it's going that corruption went down by a lot which means he must have lost a battle I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it there in time because in most of my campaigns he's usually hanging around here doing pretty well but then again it's turn 48 it's gonna take me like at least 10 turns to get there and it'll be Sigvald that gets there first with a bloody fresh army. Which isn't really ideal. Of just, you know, mostly marauders. Um. Hmm. Well, he's Festus' only hope, so. Just gonna have to do, deal with it. Another problem here is that we'll take some attrition on the way if I do that, so I've gotta go around the coastline here. Moving farther. So this goes into Valkyr's army when she makes her way down here. There will always be blood. So we just gotta hope that he holds out there as long as possible. I mean, it's only turn 50. I don't think Karl Franz would be having super strong armies. But the problem with Warriors of Chaos is once their armies have been destroyed, it's really hard for them to recover from it. And I imagine that's pretty much what's happened. His armies have been destroyed. We'll pick up this one. Hand it, need to hand it to the other army. This one over here. They'll eventually meet up. Reforged for murder. I demand absolute fealty. Good. It's time to get the aspiring champion army together. Cool. But the more I recruit, it's going to reduce my income, so I've got to gain assets. How good would this be in a siege? If we have a look here, we can see their military presence is 12. That means that they have more than a full stack. I reckon if we occupy the gallows tree first, if we do a good job of that one, it should be, it should be good. Just carefully make our way over here. He likes us. Yeah, okay. They've only got a small army there. But yeah, we need to level up some of these characters. Maybe this one's okay. Yeah, okay. If it's got stench ridden, that gives us a lot more durability for sure. Okay, we should be fine. Can't you teleport from Albion to Dryka Forest? No, that is only Bellacor. Only Bellacor can make use of that. As in, you have to be playing as Bellacor's faction. The Shadow Legion. Winds of Magic Power Reserve Capacity plus one. 
Okay. And some gemstones. That'll make us some money. And that is a small global bonus, that's for sure. Excellent. Good. Now okay. Alright, that's all I can do. It's just it's gonna be just moving towards the front for several turns now. Are your armies pure auto resolve armies? No. No. Like they tend to be pretty good in auto resolve, but if the enemy brings a decent fight, I'll fight it manually. I'm surprised you haven't killed off Boris. I don't need to. He is my vassal. If he ever betrays me, I'll go kill him off. Speaking of end times DLC, I hope we get Crumb the Conqueror for it. I have no idea what is going to entail with uh, any potential end times DLC. Um, but I'm hoping so as well. Will you also be making a Manticore army, or are they too weak? I'm not going to worry about that right now, because I don't have any pastures, so... They're good if you can get a whole bunch of pastures. That's a very late game army. Alright, the eyes open. Uh, makes everyone immortal. Honestly, none of these right now are particularly useful. I guess control plus 15 all provinces with Slan Slanesh corruption is not so bad. So that wasn't a good one for us. Okay, time to declare war on these guys. There'll be a bit of a counterattack, but I'm not worried. I don't really want to drag my allies into this, although I don't think they'll be able to capture that. Oh, yeah, I tell you what I could do. I could grab this one and borrow it. Because wait, yeah. Outstanding. Help us out. Fool. Yeah, probably have to fight that manually because there's a big army sitting over here. And this is largely just for training. If you want to vassalize the Nurgle faction, the main settlement is a Chaos Fortress. Yep, I'm aware of that. I already discussed the stuff, dude. Um, I'm not going to vassalize them because I want both of their settlements. Take what's theirs. All the way. Yeah, so they got a full stack there. It's most... Yeah, I figured it'd be mostly Nurglings. That dude, there'll be a bit of a concern. Just a little bit. I might be able to auto this. master serves only Nurgle. Hmm, yeah, that's too much damage for what would otherwise be a pretty easy fight. Alright, I gotta fight it manually. Had Arco on 80 turns campaign, Boris doesn't rebel? Yep, well then there's nothing to worry about there. Do you think Bellicor's or Archeon's faction effects are better? Both about the same in different ways. Personally, I think I like Bellicor's better because you can have a full army of gifted units. I don't like limits. But Archeon gets really good bonuses from his vassals. I'm not anticipating any real problems. Should be fine. Like I said, Nurgle's not strong against single entities. 
And metal magic's pretty good against Nogal. And we've got some healing. So that all should be fine. Now, Chaos Sorcerers aren't all that bad in melee as well. Come on, hurry up, get over there. Oh, I'm gonna get back over here. Exalted hero! War is all. And I just brought these guys along for the lols. I wasn't actually going to use them. Because I need them at full strength for the next fight. Potentially. Okay, so the spawn of Nurgle here only managed to do 175 damage. So, yeah, I, I guys have got this. I've only got one stench ridden, uh, Locus of Fecundity though, so I may not be able to heal to absolute full. So use it sparingly, we've only got three of them. Like I said, they just don't stand a chance now. Now, because most of the forces here are demons, we should probably make sure that we've at least somewhat used these up. Okay, this guy's fighting a hero that's actually doing some damage to us. We'll pull him out of that. Try to keep everyone nice and together. Good. This is actually working out like a good team. Honestly, I prefer fewer wizards, but it's just the capacity that I've got. It's a lot easier to get wizards at the beginning. Good, yeah, we're coming out of this almost full strength. Army losses should be any moment now. Don't you think hero stack is quite lame? No. I like hero stacks. If you Hey, if you don't like them, don't use it. Hey, I get plenty of armies that people absolutely love that I think is lame, and I don't judge. I mean, I definitely say, this is lame. <laughs> but, I'm just like, just, you do you. Bet you loved WrestleMania last night, since we all know you're the biggest WWE fan. Mmm, yeah. I don't watch it at all. It's fake. <laughs> 
trying to think of which factions have bad hero stacks. I think it's more good than not good. There are definitely some bad heroes for hero stacks. So, for example, Witch Hunters. Witch Hunters don't make good hero stacks. Um, they're only good against low tier units. Late game, not very effective, even at level 40 or 50. Uh, Goblin Heroes, not really good for it. Uh, Cathay Alchemists don't make good hero stacks. The um, Astromancers now do. Kislev Hero Spams. Uh, wizards. Which one's... um Ice Wizards. Though they're not good for spamming. Patriarchs and Hag Witches are, though. Is Village still alive? I think so. I'll go and have a quick check. Alright, so we want to keep this for ourselves, but I definitely want to sack it. I'm not sure if I'll have enough movement. It's not that big of a deal if I don't capture it this turn. Because, yeah, that money will go a long way. Come on. Okay, good. Because, yeah, we definitely want to hold on to that wood. That's really good. Alright, now this guy here is able to attack us. So you stay back there, so reinforce us if you absolutely have to. We're fully replenishing. Let's make sure we level up before they launch the attack. Whatever's going to give us our best chance of survival. I was hoping we'd get another healer in there, but no. I'm, I'm pretty confident we'd be able to handle that. Pretty confident. Definitely need to draw it out of there before the, uh, the siege. Because the siege will be tough otherwise. Alright, and we got to keep moving Don't everyone down. So yeah, the blue scribes can go up ahead and keep look. I said we'd have a look at village. Yeah, village. I think he's still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. He's 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 kicking. Because village can't be revived. I don't think he's making particularly good ground, but um, he is still alive. Yes, yes. No trolls? Okay, you're not going to be able to recruit again for a little while, but get moving. Right, I could maybe pick this up on the way. Should be an easy order to resolve this. Gonna be taking attrition. So try to get through this as quickly as possible. Okay, we're waiting for Valkyr. Valkyr is on her way. Find the fight. One more of these needed. Yep, cool. It's good now that they start off with one experienced. So that's good. Now an undivided uh, wizard will reduce corn. 
authority. But as soon as I can turn it Zinch, Law of Metal, then it will reduce Nurgle corrupt uh, authority instead. So if you have a look, Consult we're still at six. Yeah, it won't take long before I can pop down the, uh, the thing. Nothing here for us. Oh, hang on, there's a troll. Alright, you pick up the troll, because you need to go meet up with that other guy anyway. Make a little swap. Okay, small hero capacity be good. And Kadatha. Yeah, we definitely want to get that going. I don't think I'm going to lose it to them. If we have a look over here, we can see that Kolek is still alive and kicking. Now, with low-level heroes, this might be a bit of a struggle to fight Kolek, unless I bring in some reinforcements. Unfortunately for... Ooh. Hmm, okay. Double pace! I don't think this guy's going to get there in time, but come on in. See, this is what they do. They put their main army with their, their faction leader, the one that we can't loan, can't borrow, with a big army, and then they've got their other army with nothing in it. Can't work with that. These ones are too far away. They'll never make it there in time. Aren't double axe marauders of corn better to have? We can always just switch it up later. It really isn't going to make that big of a difference at this stage since they're not going to fight any combat right now. It's not going to make any any tangible difference. So arguing over that right now, completely pointless. The reason why I went with that one just because cheaper upkeep. Save us money. Did I forget to move Sigvold? I think I did. Zinch heroes to fight Kolek, they have anti-large. Yeah, but I don't like... No, no, no. We're definitely going to go with Nurgle. Nurgle's better, because regen's better than a little bit of anti-large. Nurgle's way better. Will you react to the trailer if it drops today? I don't think it will drop today. But yeah, I'll look over with the um on during the stream. Oh uh, no, hang on. No, if, if I watch a Creative Assembly product, there's a chance that they can DMCA strike me. So I gotta I gotta be careful with that. And now that they've done that before and they kind of got away with it, then you never know, they'll do it again. This time we'll go with units. The Writhing Fortress got a plague. Alright, doesn't matter. Alright. So now what we need to do is just lure these guys out to fight us. So if we have a look, we got to stay outside the settlement. Oh, hang on. No, we don't. No, we don't. Because oh, but they've got a lot of units. I follow only grandfather. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see if they take that bait. Are you a god? The god. Aren't you playing their product now? Yeah, it's 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 an iffy area right now with uh, CA and copyright stuff. Hmm. This is hanging on. Yeah, I think I forgot to move last turn. Anyway, we don't want Sigvold being the first one to land. I don't think that's good. Shall we find out? 
Come on, give me replenishment. No, I don't know. You need a boom. For murder. Let us corrupt. Moving as in my mortal. The gods will. Chaos. Okay. Still just making our way to get to Festus. All right, as long as this, the Isle of Whites is under control of Vanaheimlings, I think that... I could do a detour and just grab Concada, which will immediately confederate Bellacor. You dare. It's a bit of a detour. Hang on, why don't the first ones go out this way? And maybe, maybe these three here, they'll go to Albion and sort that out. Because I don't need everyone to arrive there. I just need some forces to arrive as quickly as possible. Yeah, this is all good out here. I'm pretty happy with all that. Alright. Yep, come on over. And amount of cash. Okay, that's not really that important. Let's instead get this because it'll increase our income in the area, which we need. All to try to save Festus as quickly as possible. And then we've got to try to save Village as quickly as possible because after we've claimed Festus and Village, the others can be revived if they get wiped out. What video would be dropping? Um, I don't know. Look, they're they're gonna start moving into marketing towards Thrones of Decay, and people were just asking if I was gonna react to it. And typically speaking, I don't like to react to stuff during live streams. It's disruptive. Um, I don't think they're gonna do it because it's Monday, and they usually do it on Tuesday or Thursday. It's also just a trailer, and trailers you really should try not to get hyped by trailers. Uh, um, Bellacor's only got one settlement. We don't even need to fight him, although he does have a really good defeat trait. We just got to go in there, capture his settlement, and then it just immediately confederates him. Alright, well... Our ambush failed. However... I could probably still make this work. If one army besieges the city, and the other one attacks him... That should work. That's not really good because that's going to free up Malachus to fight elsewhere. God make he have an army. It'd be such a small detour. Got to get over here and have a look. It really does look like Festus is in trouble. The gods direct me. The gods direct me. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to. Would you? Would you be able to handle this on your? No. Maybe if it was before they fixed the cheesing of the sieges. But with this, no. Yeah, you should definitely go and fight Empire men. You could handle it. Yeah, you can handle it. Bringer of glory. Sail forth. Moving now. 
Vampire of the waves. Mistress of skulls. The crew are restless. Hmm. The Gore Queen. Just realized that we might be in range here. I should um I should make a tactical change here. Just in case, that way I can actually run away from them. Just in case. Because this is a fairly small army, and these are usually fairly strong. Oh man, I don't have income because they're not fighting. But you know, I can't teleport. Alright, now we're going to do this. We can besiege with this army here. Okay, this guy's actually got more movement. Um, yeah, his army is shit though. So you go and besiege this. Wipe them out. Reno Meister did a two euro super chat. Which legendary lord could you personally beat up? That's a dumb question. So I'm not gonna answer it. Thanks for super chat. <laughs> this is this is a dumb question. I don't really want to make a habit of answering those kind of questions. That's the, that's like the kind of question a five-year-old asks someone. My daddy can beat up your daddy, sort of thing. It's just like, come on, it's a, come on. Attack. All right, come on. Do we still have more movement? Get just enough movement. It's alright, I'm not answering that. I'm just not. Don't ask those questions anymore, please. I don't like them. Fun question. It's not fun for me. Don't ask them, okay? Don't ask that question again. Shouldn't be a problem. I'd have to fight it manually, though. Are they just angry? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I just didn't want to answer the question. Okay? I don't have to answer every single question. Okay? If you guys... I don't care if you did a super chat or not. I, I reserve the right to not answer a question. It's not relevant. I don't have to answer your questions. We got a problem with that. Don't super chat. It's that simple. Because here's the problem, and this is this is what happens with those kind of questions. I know it's its intent is innocuous, but if I answer that question, I'm gonna get more questions like that. And I don't want more questions like that, okay? I don't want any more. They're they're stupid and annoying and I, I hate them, so don't just I don't want to open the floodgates. I go. Should be fine to just use our heroes. These guys are just back up just in case things go to shit. But everything's looking good here.
Uh, Desperado82 subscribed with Prime. They're subscribed for two months. Currently on one stream. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Do you have a favorite Eltharian mirror buff combo? Trying to decide between a physical resistance combo and a ranged buff combo. No, I, I really don't focus too heavily on on doing that kind of stuff. So I do I do not have a favorite. I usually just get whatever is available and don't focus on it too much. But I believe the Grom one is pretty good. Um, Frieden uh, 51 did a 5 dollar Is Archeon a good lord for learning the game, or are there better options? Ar uh, okay, uh, there's definitely better options. Archeon's a good lord for learning how to play Warriors of Chaos, for sure. Uh, but as for learning the game, you're probably best off High Elves, since Warriors of Chaos play very differently to every other faction in the game. So they want to come at us anyway. I guess that's fine. Just take a defensive position here. As best we can. Okay, gonna need some healing. Oh, he routed. No, he terror routed. It's even worse. Yes, Clean magic. And them. Blessing. Maybe I should have denied my reinforcements from showing up. Because, yeah, these guys here aren't going to do so well against this by comparison to them. And the whole point is to use these guys here because they're so durable against Nurgle and they can regenerate, whereas I can't really regenerate these guys. That being said, not my forces, so if they get killed, who cares? Consumed by chaos, exalted hero of Nurgle. Hopefully they redirect some more forces over here. I need you guys to try to focus on him. Right, you two need to focus on the Beast of Noble. This guy is very tanky. Chaos sorcerer. Hear me, Lady Father. Guys around the flank so they don't cause much friendly fire. This guy healing or something? No, nope, we're just not doing much damage to him. I have mushed. All will be despoiled. We'll be back. No! Take this, mortals! Right, let's get the wizards out and just let the exalted heroes sort it out. Sorcerer Lord, Chaos, the only master! Oh, jeez, that guy never died. Right, I don't think we've got anyone hitting him in the rear. How much melee defense? It doesn't matter, we um, we lost him. Alright. Where can I revive Azazel? Yeah, so that's a weird one. He revives where Village starts, for some reason. I think someone at CA just got the tags wrong. Um... He, yeah, he revives at the Red Fortress, or whatever it is that, um, that village starts on. Alright, we should be in good enough shape now to capture the settlement. Although, I don't think we've got a siege attacker in the army.
Plus, that would give enough experience, I think, for this one here to get that ability. Uh, Mim8, subscribe with Prime. They've subscribed for two months. Ryan plays games in HD. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Because that's his start position in Realm of Chaos. Yeah, that might be it. The strike against Voland. Yes, so Creative Assembly did a a false copyright strike on Voland October last year. Um, and they didn't really get any ramifications from it. Not, not very many people stood up for Voland. I was one of them. Um, it was probably the straw that broke the camel's back with Creative Assembly. And ever since then, I just gotta be really careful because, you know, they did a false copyright strike and they, they didn't really get any ramifications for it. Shatterstone is Siege Attacker. That's correct. Thank you, dude. You're right. Chances are they probably won't, but you, sometimes you just gotta cover your bases. Because at the same time, if I get copyright striked, I don't know if anyone's gonna stand up for me. So, I just don't know, because that is something that sort of happens in this community a little bit, and it's, it's not a bad thing, necessarily, but a lot of a lot of creators don't stand up for other creators. I'm trying to change that a little bit, but it's going to take time. That was a dirty move, I see, eh? It was a dirty move. I still think they should apologize for doing that. Didn't he share copyright information on his stream? Nope. Okay, so what Volan did was that he had... He found a public link. Public or unlisted. Either way, wasn't he wasn't under any NDA and did a reaction video on it and the content that was in that video wasn't even creative assembly's own intellectual property it was neil blomkamp stuff and the video had half of the video was not even neil blomkamp's um ip either so the video was just like it was like a university school project essentially and creative assembly basically claimed that this is their intellectual property which it isn't um it's a, it basically it's a Frankenstein trailer, right? And uh, tried to get it copyright striked. It had to do with hyenas. Um, most people didn't really even care that much. Copyright is not applied information. He didn't... Like I said, he did a reaction video. Like, the video itself was like seven minutes. And he spent like half an hour to an hour, like, dissecting it every little bit. Which, by the way, is protected under copyright. Unless he signed an NDA, which he didn't, not to distribute that stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure... Like, YouTube sided with him, by the way. YouTube sided with him. YouTube threw it out. But the, the fact that they did that and then tried to, like, just pretend like it didn't happen was really dirty. And so, since then... I'm just like, got to be careful, because they, they kind of, like, if they were to do a DMCA strike, it'll probably fail. But at the same time, it's like extra hassle. It's not really worth it to do a reaction on their videos if there's even a chance of them doing a DMCA strike. Which I said, they probably won't, but you never know. Into the um, Fryden51 did a 5 dollar super chat. If you wanted to subjugate all the Lords of Chaos as Arcane, is it better to do it early so they can be revived at any point? Okay, so you want to get the ones early that can't be revived. So that's Sigvold, Festus, and Village. Any of the other ones can be revived. So SwankyJ501 subscribed to Tier 1. And then gifted 10 tier 1 subs. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. You helped us get to 1,300 subs on Twitch. Appreciate that. Alright, so this one here. He should be able to attack because he should have Shatterstone. I forgot I had Shatterstone. And... Look, if none of my heroes are dying, who cares? Like, this is this is not even my army, so... <laughs> Thank you. Alright, and... 
No, we don't want to subjugate, we want to occupy it. Yeah. Boland is pretty obsessive with CA's failure, it's kind of a weird guy. Does it matter? Doesn't matter. None of, none of that stuff is relevant when it comes to the DMCA strike. It, it's like this. You can't you, you can't argue it this way, right? You'd be like, oh, they've done a DMCA strike. Did he did he do anything that was um, that breached the DMCA laws? No, but he's an asshole. Doesn't that doesn't work? Yeah. Oh, then it's okay. It's okay because. You you don't personally like the guy. It's okay to do something illegal to him. That, that doesn't that doesn't work for me. Fair enough. But which trailer was your favorite? That's that's a question I can answer. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll give you a heart for that one. Um, I I think my favorite trailer for Total War has been the Total War Pharaoh trailer. I just the the detail on the piece of shit that's rolling up the hill. Just probably the best thing about that game. No, um, no, my actual favorite trailer I think is probably the Vampire Coast trailer. That was, I think that that was maybe the best made trailer that Creative Assembly ever did. <laughs> yes, yes, Lord. That was really good. Well, I'm just right about CA, but half the time his videos just go on about political rants. Irrelevant. Totally irrelevant. <laughs> Completely irrelevant. Despoil and ravage. Like, don't get me wrong. You can judge any creator based on anything that they've done. Like, if I've... Like, let's just say... If you want to judge me on my f first few videos, or, you know, my edgy time... That is perfectly fine. You can absolutely judge me on that stuff. That is your right to, to judge me however you see fit. Um, but it, you can't use irrelevant stuff, like old stuff, to judge me how I am now sort of thing. So it's irrelevant to that particular topic. I didn't think I used a good example there. Um, but yeah, as I said, I'm not saying that you should like any particular creator, I just think that creators should be legally protected from companies bullying them, that's all. Because here's the, here's the thing, if you allow something like that to happen to one creator, what's to stop it to happening to someone you like next time? And if there's a precedence for them... Like, here's the thing, if, if a company does something and gets away with it, then the next time that they do that, there's a precedence that they can be like, well, we've done it before and nobody cared, so why do people care now? So you have to fight them every time they do it. It's just like if somebody, let's just say somebody was going around assaulting people, right? And somebody assaulted somebody that you don't like. Let's just say it was Conor McGregor, all right? Let's just say Conor McGregor's, no, actually, let's go, let's go, um, let's go, let's go something ridiculous. Um... Let's go Russell Crowe. Let's say Russell Crowe is going around punching people, and he starts and he punches someone that you don't personally like, right? Should Russell Crowe be charged with assault? Yes! Okay. <laughs> yes. It doesn't matter if you like or dislike the person, it's still not cool. Fighting around the world. That's what I was thinking as well, yeah. South Park. Was this a general comment about Voland? I don't agree with what CA did. That's cool, and that is totally fine. I just want to make it really clear. I just want to make it clear with that. And, yeah. You can have whatever opinions you want on that regard. That's fine. I've got a lot of students there. Oh my god. Yeah, that's one of the big problems with getting a hero stack. <laughs> Jeez. All the bloody... Mount, 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 mount. Okay. Next stop is fighting them, which I think maybe we should... Maybe wait for... Them. Okay. 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 
decision. I remember your face reveal on Lionheart's channel. Wouldn't they stand up to you? Stand up for me? Uh, uh I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't think so. N -n -n -n. They didn't last time. Yes, my ruinous powers. We no, no, the don't think so. No, lo uh, those guys mo mostly just mind their own business. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Growth building in the Nurgle settlement? No, I don't need it because we've got salt. You don't need the growth buildings. So, just in case you... That sounded like a weird comment. If you've got access to salt as a resource, every time you fight a battle, per region, you'll gain 10 growth after winning a battle. So, if I fight one battle, I'll actually get 20 growth in this region. So, let's just say I fight five battles in a single turn. That's 100 growth for this region. And that's for each salt resource that I get, which will soon be arriving here where there will be more salt. So, we don't need the growth building. All right, we just finished Gaze of the Dark Gods. But you built it in the settlement? Oh, did I? Okay, well, that's different. Enslave the oh, fuck. Yeah, you're right. I meant to do this one here. Is it just me, or is that swapped around? Isn't, isn't this one usually on this side? No. No, you're right. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Yeah. You're right. Uh, Alright. Okay, that's all good. Technology. Just trying to decide what we're going to do next. So, armor for Chaos Warriors. Warband upgrade costs. Not that big of a deal. We're fine for money. Request army cost minus 25% could be very helpful. If you get village, you can get it down another 25%, I think. Make it nice and cheap. I think it's Azel might as well. Can't remember. Um, all right, we're good here. Let's move on. Commandment over here. Definitely want that undivided corruption. And then if we have a look at Kolek, we can get an idea of how strong he is. What? Not very. Okay. Probably the best thing for us to do would be just ignore Dolgan for now. Oh no. Yes. Yeah. Ignore Dolgan. And just capture the settlement before he captures anything else. <laughs> but I want I want this settlement here. So we need to capture that one first. But we can maybe get the Kislev army to sort that out. So yeah, we'll just walk right past here and go straight to um, the challenge stone. What do you rate Fester's chance of holding out until you can rescue him? I have no idea what the situation is. All I know is that he doesn't have a lot of territory. That's the only thing I know. Legislative War, if I may ask, what is your personal favorite faction to play? How dare you ask me such a personal question? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I think either Corn or Skaven, like Ikat Claw or Scarbrand. Those are my favorites. And Bellicor and Archeon, they're both really good. Um, I do like playing Katarin. Don't really like playing as any of the other Kislev factions. I like playing Yuanbo. But as for pitting down a favorite, hard to say. I'm not sure. There's no, like, standout. This is definitely my favorite. What's with the salt just got here? I was just explaining what salt does as a resource. Don't you auto-vassalize subordinates to vassalize enemies? Yes, but I want that settlement for myself. Alright, so what do you get? That doesn't matter. Okay. Let us corrupt. Northman come. Commander of the soldiery. A chaos. Alright, so probably piss Kurlik off a little bit. Uh, shouldn't matter. 
It's done. Decapping. Madness. No. Yeah, there really isn't anything else here that I can get for reinforcements. Alright, let's have a look at how he's doing. Mm, he's hanging on, he's hanging on. Still alive. Spread ruin on them! Do strikes! Bring ruin. By the Eldritch I see. The gods direct me. Valkyr the bloody. Oceans of blood. This is wise. Okay. Now is chaos. And yeah, we go to swing around through here. It's kind of good that they've already arrived here. To destruction. So we want to try to land in Nordland because that's the closest place to um, Hockland. I think this army here will be pretty good against the Empire. As long as they don't bring lots of demigriff knights. Which is a bit early for that. What are usually the worst performing races in terms of stream viewership? Dark Elves always perform like absolute crap. Tomb Kings don't perform very well sometimes. Um, Vampire Coast always performs like crap. Ogres are the worst by far yeah ogres I, I don't even touch ogres anymore uh, as, as someone who actually likes playing as ogres but i won't stream ogres it, they're very much nobody's interested in them um those are the worst performers i was trying to think of any of the others yeah i can't think of any others that perform that badly uh, Sawyer Jenkins did a fifty dollars super chat. Hey mate, been watching you for years. Just want to say thank you for all you do for us and the community. You've opened my eyes to seeing this game in a new strategic light. Truly a master. Nothing but the best time mate. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. It's very generous of you. That is a really generous super chat. Thanks. When was Legends Edgy Times? Uh, between twenty sixteen and twenty, maybe late, uh, early twenty eighteen, I think. So it lasted a good long while. Those, 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 I'm not like that anymore. I always enjoy people reading people's um, comments on Reddit where they're like, he's just pretending not to be edgy. No, I'm really not anymore. I've sort of explained how edginess kind of happens. There's like a series of events that happened that caused me to become edgy. And it just, edginess runs its course eventually. It's like, no, I've, very few people stay edgy forever. Because it, it has a very short lifespan because it gets old really quickly. Yes. Speak. Yeah, I don't want any agreements with any of them. The first. Okay. It's weird how he's almost ready to vassalize anyway. There will always right, you got any blood. trolls for me here? Yep, cool. Give me them trolls. It's also this one. Okay, I'll take one troll and nope. Don't have enough money. I'll take just two trolls then. Why is such a bad thing? Well, it's it's um depends on how you look at it. Like I think it, it was a good learning experience. The thing is with edginess is that it's ed edginess is about taking pleasure out of shock humor, really. So things like Things like uh, racist jokes and just basically you you take in uh, you find offense funny. That's that's what really what edginess is. Um, anything that's overtly like obviously offensive becomes funny. Um, so it's I guess it's a desensitization of just the human condition. Um, and then after a while you get desensitized to it and it's just not funny anymore. So it's things like dead baby jokes. You know, um, some people will find dead baby jokes offensive. As somebody who has a dead baby, I'm not offended by dead baby jokes. You know, because they're not targeted at me directly. I don't go, ah, that strikes at home to me. How dare they? They're not targeting me. Like, I can still enjoy watching Anthony Jeselnik. 
I couldn't at the time, but I, I can now. I can now watch his stuff and be like, this is funny, because you're talking about me. <laughs> but that's that's an example. Um, but not everyone can do that. Okay, I've already checked this stuff here. Move on. Yeah, this is not so good. I keep thinking I'm gonna forget someone because I got a lot of armies now. What did legend mean? He has a dead baby. I meant what I said. Our first pregnancy ended in disaster. <laughs> Babkin Vinyuk subscribed at tier one. This subscribe for two months, currently on a two month streak. Thanks, do appreciate that. Sorry for loss. Uh, you know, it was over a year ago. Uh, no, it was less than a year ago now, but let's move on. What the hell is this? This is like a rebellion. Weird. Another one for the toilet god. See, that's offensive, but that's not what happened. No, like, I'm not going to go into detail with it, but you guys have a completely wrong idea. I, I, like I said, I don't really want to talk about it. Very horrible experience. Wouldn't wish it on anyone. Um, but, like I said, I used to use it as an example that there is a type of humor called dead baby jokes. And I would be in that classification where it would sting a bit. But, um, you know, I don't go around trying to ban that stuff. So what we want to do here is just not let this be the first attack that we make. We want to make sure... Well, actually, it does need to be the first attack. But we need to make sure that we attack that and then immediately after attack this one. So we just need to get into position. Because I want that marble. It's really useful. I See, I don't need this settlement. It's, there's nothing here. But that one's really good. Because as soon as we beat Kolek and confederate him, we'll immediately get these guys as a vassal. Suspected a two pound super jet. Any tips for legendary scroll campaign? Um, I think I've got a video called Scrolk Early not Early Game Guide, like campaign review. I think I gave a few tips on what to do with that campaign. But that was a while ago and I haven't played it since, so not sure. Okay, let's check over here. He's still around. Looks like we're gonna get there in time. Okay, Dietershafen is owned by Reichland. Looks like he's already confederated everything. I have noticed that Reichland confederates the elect accounts much quicker than he did before. That army is a bit too much for this one to handle. Hey, Bellicor, what do you got? Oh, Some call me the Dark Master. He's going to get annoyed Some with me, me the longer I stay here. But if... Oh, is he just going to sit there and do nothing? The Gore Queen. Sword Maiden of the Blood God. Oh, what the hell? I used up all my friggin' movement to do that. Or die. They will be dominated. Agree. Mortals will quail. Oh, <laughs> Bellicor went and grabbed it. That unit's in here now. And we're losing magic. Oh, that's not that important. Oh, hang on. We're gaining magic. Uh, Rhino Master to 2 Euro Super Chat. Could you win a campaign using only one active army? You could. It would just be very time consuming. And I don't know if anyone would really want to do that. You, you kind of want to avoid campaigns, personally at least, that are not necessarily challenging, but really time consuming. 
that's not really what I want to do because time is precious and that's seems like a waste of time but you know if you want to go do that you totally can but yeah most factions you can probably win the campaign with just one army if you're skilled enough you'd have to play a very strong diplomacy game do you prefer the blue scribes as a scout or in your army I'm not sure I'm not I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the blue scribes to be honest yeah, I don't, I don't have a plan for that one right now. I just sort of got him by accident, and now I don't know what to do with him. I don't have any Dragon Ogres right now. Probably might get some soon. So that's good. Culling the weak. Souls gained from battle. Ah, uh, we're fine for souls. Barrier for aspiring champions would be good. Have I played Craven Tail? Not for a long time. Yeah, after I did all the campaign reviews, I kind of stopped playing Warhammer 3 that much in my spare time. Don't play it that often these days. Mostly, I mostly just pick up a campaign when I'm live streaming. And just disaster battles, that's about it. Very rarely play on my own time. There's just so many other good games to play, and I, I got other things going on in my life right now, and Warhammer is kind of getting stale. I'm kind of hoping for a big patch to really sort of shake things up. Scribe seems like a waste to be scouts. Totally is. I just don't know what I'm doing with him right now. I don't have any Zinch focused armies. Like I said, I didn't try to get him. I just got him by accident. And I don't know what I'm doing with him. A lot is riding on the next DLC? Yes, and I think they're aware of that too. Oh, she wants to trade now. Okay. Yeah, pay up. Pay up. Good stuff. What games am I playing? Um, Anno 1800. I'm going to be playing some CK3 in my own time. I definitely want to get back into Power World. I haven't played that in a couple of weeks, but I want to play it some more. Especially with the new update. Those are the games that are on my to-do list at the moment. Have I tried Nightingale? No, I haven't. Oh boy, it's a lot of just moving our armies in position, isn't it? We're almost there. Looking at Speak. Him. I will hear you now. Be warned, my He's fairly strong, but we're stronger than him. Here's our chance, here's our chance. Okay. Here we go. We're not gonna get his defeat trait. But we're just gonna get all his possessions straight away, which probably isn't much. Let me keep you in yeah, it looks like he constantly comes down here and gets fucked up. Alright. There's no reason to attack them. You'll need to force march up here. Valkyr. Need to force Nothing march as well. So you're not going to make it. Probably a bit overkill, but not we've arrived. Me. I have always no. <laughs> Their allies refused. He doesn't lose them as a vassal, but they refuse to jump in. And this will just immediately confederate him. So we really chose the best time to come over here and snap him. Snatch him, I mean. Cool. Yeah, I wasn't looking for a protracted siege or anything, just done deal, and Bellacor is now part of the war host of the apocalypse. Enforced confederation, yep. Wherever his army is out there, it will be destroyed, and Bellacor is here. Five turns, Prince of Nightmares. Nice. And this settlement remains in good shape. 
we gain both of these guys as a vassal. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That all worked out very nicely. Anyway, make sure you sit inside the settlement. Transfer, transfer. Carnets awakened. Hell follows me. Okay, time for an invasion of the old world. Oh, what about Norska? There's so many. Yeah, maybe we should come back over here and deal with Norska stuff because that's good stuff there. Um, don't need this. What? Okay. Um, Fryden51 did a $50 super chat. Is it worth making Chaos Lords into demons? If so, should I have an army do... Hang on. If so, should I have an army do used on what they are for X? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Does, what? Hang on, let me try that again. If so, should I have an army do used on what they are for X? Uh, I can't decipher that. <laughs> uh, would a Nurgle demon lord benefit more from a full army of Nurgle line troops, or does it matter enough to worry about? Alright, uh, thanks for the chat. Um, Purse, it doesn't matter that much. I think he meant example. I have an army to use an example. Okay. Hang on. I have an army to use on what they are, for example. Okay, okay. Um, build your armies however you want. That's the most important thing. But I usually try to align the type of units that are in my army with with what authority is highest. So for example, with um, with Valkyr, actually these should have been upgraded. If we have a look here, uh, we should, because we've got eight corn authority, we should be making all of our units corn. You don't have to, but one thing that you definitely want to do is not put opposite aligned units in, a fa in an army. So for example, if you've got a corn based legendary Lord that has negative Slanesh, authority, you probably shouldn't put Slanesh units in there. But you can definitely put the Nurgle and Zinch units, or even Undivided units, and it's fine. Um, but you're going to get the most out of your particular benefits. I, ho I hope that answers it adequately for you. Alright. Could land here. There's no value in it, though. Oh no. I mean, I was going to fight him as well. How strong is he? The masters have surely. Spread ruin on them. Who are these grotesqueries? A worthy choice. Hmm. I think we can manage, as long as we can get both of these armies to land. That's a hell of a counter-attack that'd be on its way. Damn, Wolfric's getting his shit together. He should be a vassal. Avert your eyes. See, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to go about this. I could beat Wolfric easily enough. I think don't think that's going to be a problem. But this this is pretty dangerous. So I would need to win this without taking too much damage. What? Because, uh, yeah, this one would take a fair bit of damage. It's a pretty shit army. Is all. Hmm. It might be best waiting another turn I am before I do anything. It's just too risky. Well, we don't have our shit organized. It's just too risky. Just wait there. Death 
Excellent. All right, that's all of those armies sorted. Defender of Kislev. <laughs> it's weird playing as the Warriors of Chaos and having a Kislev army. All right, two turns until we arrive at Floating Mountain. Abroad is all. Oh wow, I can't go into camp stance with them. By our blood, this Kislev can save. Okay. The eagle guides me. Yeah, okay, just stay in that stance because it'll take us two turns to get there. We need to make sure this one's able to strike there first. From Linsk to um, Fryden51 did a five little super chat. Sorry about the grammar, just woke up and YouTube keeps trying to type for me. My bad. It's all good, dude. It happens to everyone. Yeah, it just, it, it really stumped me. I had no idea how to read that sentence. <laughs> You're not the first and you won't be the last. It's all good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, just save up that money for next turn, I think. Alright. Let's move on. Commandment. What did I just gain? Oh, that's right. Over here. Do it. Good. Let's move on. Reader, oh, I forgot to move them. Maybe I should send the Hound back to Altar of the Crimson Harvest. Maybe. Yeah, Legend, as someone who exclusively played Warriors of Chaos in Warhammer 1 and refused to touch them in Warhammer 2, should I give them a chance? Skaven, main thing? If that means anything? They're good in Warhammer 3, yeah. Yeah, playing Warriors of Chaos in Warhammer 3 is good. Really good, actually. Okay, well, a whole bunch of Wolfric's army just got wiped out, making this a pretty easy decision now. That looks like Toddy. Why fight Wolfric at all? Because I need to vassalize him. I think Wolfric just got smashed there. Mm. What happened with your boldness? Still there. Okay, he's still there. Who are these grotesqueries? Yeah, I thought so. I thought it was Toddy. Fucking Toddy and he's in force march. Wolfric just got bloody slammed, so now's a great time to attack him. Alright, how many settlements does Carl Franz have? Sixteen. Can find out roughly where he has. Middenland would be gone. Somebody has territory in here that he likes. Somebody hates here. Looks like he confederated Marienburg or destroyed them, whichever came first. Yeah, he's at war with the Fecundites and Sylvania and Scabby Eye. Scabby Eye down here. He's allied with the Ice Corps. Well, we can bypass his alliances thanks to the World Walkers. Good thing I didn't declare war on him. You guys need to get back for murder. out this way. To more death. You got any more of them trolls? Nope, but he does have a thing. A uh, one of these guys. So we're gonna go land at Trollfjord and just see what we can do. Come on, where can you land? Or more like disembark. There we go. Good stuff. Alright, alright, alright. And over here. Leader yeah, one more turn until they arrive. Only for honor. 13 years. So they've got defenses up in here, right? Floating mountain? Yeah, they do. With uh, 16 units. 
Okay, I may need to send this one back, actually. The sheep. You have my faith. Never thought I'd die side by side with a Norskin. What about side by side with I a friend? <laughs> Alright, oh, now's the perfect time to strike. The Wait, Ruzuna hang on. Are the protectors of the land. Guardian of the land. Okay, next turn. Next turn we get Kolek. Okay. Alright, now we've got to figure out what we're going to do here. Are you a god? Definitely would be good to get rid of this army while it's in force march. Let's have a look at the strength ranking. How likely are we going to get pummeled at the beginning here? Hmm, not very. Shane Keeps isn't sponsoring you at the moment. Would have been a good opportunity for a plug. Keeps? Um, you're a fan of survival games, correct? Have you seen any of the trailers for Dune Awakening? Looks pretty interesting. I haven't heard of that at all. You can upgrade one of your Chaos Warriors to Chaos Knights. You're right, I can. But that'll deplete some of my movements, so do that at the end of the turn. Yes, it is so. Is that army still here? Don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with Sandor Clegane. Did we look beneath the waves yet? Probably just land him here, here and um, just figure things out. Fool. All right, let's speak with Wolfric. Join war against Reichland. All right, here we go. Let's bring the end times. Sort of. How many settlements does Kolek have? Just one. Perfect opportunity for us. Witness my beauty. This guy is definitely going to run away. Okay, now in terms of experience, I think I would prefer Sigvold to gain experience from this. Hail the slaughterer! Now we have to fight this manually because otherwise we lose several units. It's alright. No problems. Let's do it. Keeps is a hair loss company. They frequently sponsor YouTube channels. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Wouldn't it make more sense to sponsor creators that actually have, like, thick head of hair? <laughs> Try keeps! It didn't work on me, but you should buy it. Would it? Oh, sorry. Would you think it would be a good idea if CA added campaign randomness by making that minor faction wouldn't auto lose by major factions? I don't know. Might make the game shit. Don't know. Close on the sheep. They probably did extensive testing where minor factions may have, like, let's just say, minor factions from strong races defeated major factions from weak races, right? And then. Certain major factions would get wiped out very early. All right, we gotta we gotta get going. Not gonna wait around. Don't know what the right thing to do game design wise is. You're done, you get back, you've had enough. Is Toddy regenerating? Yeah. Attack the 
This is where melee infantry is not going to shine too much, but luckily marauders, losing a few marauders here and there is not really a big deal. Definitely not the smartest way to go about this battle. I could have cheesed it, but I kind of wanted it to be over quicker. Best way to handle this would, would have been just send Archeon to sort it out by himself. Okay, these three here, too much damage, move them back. You think I am not versed in the arcane? Going. We yearn to. Suffering unbound! Sinus sends us. Ready. Attend me. Chaos. And Sigvold's Marauders are the only ones that took any serious damage in this battle. The Knights got here nice and cleanly. No problems. So I think that's a good start to the war in the old world. Our invasion has begun. We haven't gained any territory. Middenland is the closest dark fortress. That'd be a good place to go. Is Sigvald originally Slanesh? He is Slanesh um, aligned, yes. Sigvald the Magnificent. Marauders of Slanesh. Going on here. Are you making themed armies or meme armies? Themed armies. Yeah, playing Warriors of Chaos is definitely good to make themes out of your armies, I think. And I actually like going melee infantry spam with them now. With all the different colors of the rainbow. You know? Pride. Pride. Uh, pride, pride. <laughs> um, Filth DK, subscribe to Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Hey Jeff, you ever played WoW? I used to play WoW back in Dark Crusade... Dark Crusade? Burning Crusade. So that was, what, the first expansion of WoW? I got to level 70, and then I didn't really like it anymore, and I stopped. Never played it again. Kind of... So weird to think of how long WoW has been... a thing. Representation matters. Exactly. I'm doing this for the gaze of Nagash. I mean, of, of the Dark God. Yeah, I'm, do I'm doing... I'm making varied armies for the gaze of the Dark Gods, you know, because they're keeping an eye on me. Doing it for that gaze. <laughs> don't you love the English language? You don't know what I'm talking about. Archeon just fought, doing a rainbow, rainbow, um, flag. Look at me, gaze of the dark gods. <laughs> see, look, 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 see, I'm doing it. No, for the gaze. Not the gaze, the gaze. 
Lady of the Glade. Gaze of the Dark Gods. What were you thinking I meant? <laughs> Can this blow? Shall we find out? No! Sigval's doing it for the gaze, though. My Eldritch, I see. Alright, we can cut through here towards mid inland. There's no reason that I have to go to Salzenmund. It does have wood there. I bet Sigvold will like picking up some woods. They will be dominated. The gods smile. Yeah, there's wood there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me this. Oh, that's great. Do we want to keep that? Let me just let me just think about this. So, we always want to build these three buildings here. So, that means there's two left. So, that'll be fine. But there's also this one here. So, yeah, I don't need this one. I want to put that slot down there. I'm going to put that here. Make it a little nice and... Uh, what am I doing? It doesn't matter. Being silly. Being silly. So I need to get a Nurgle themed army and a Zinch themed army. We've almost got Mr. Nurgle himself. With Festus, I like to give him giants. You'd be surprised how freaking good he is with giants. You can give him exalted heroes, but they're already good enough. Giants under him are just insanely good. It's actually ridiculous. They're so durable and regenerative. Regen they can regenerate. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So, we're going to be fighting Wolfric starting over here. I'll hand this settlement over to them. There's no reason for us to have it. Uh, I would have liked to have brought back some of these other vassals, but... Oh, well. Richard Danzig did a £4 super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Alright. I think that's all we need to do. Looking at technologies. I think there is another... Yeah, Gift of Chaos I could pop down. Let's have a look here. Mm, that can make us a little bit of extra money. Cost of souls. None of this is really tickling my fancy that much. Yeah, I'm just going to wait. Alright, so I think I just got Arcane Branding Iron. So that's going to make our our uh, Aspiring Champions better. So that will reduce Nurgle Authority. I should make my way over here. Culling the Weak? No, no. No need for that. Don't have any of those units. Demon Mounts. No. No. Oh, damn! Tom Kin did an HK500 Super Chat. I'm not actually sure how much that is. I know it's more than 100 US dollars. Uh, hey, Legend, I recently got part... Sorry, got two pet rats because I love Skaven so much in this game. Any suggestions for names? Uh, Queek and Tretch. Two clan rats. Well, they're not really clan rats. Yeah, Queek and Tretch. Why not? What's what's the name of the the like Queek's uh, bodyguard? It's a storm vermin. It's got an actual name. I can't remember what his name is. But yeah, thanks for that super chat, dude. That's really generous of you. Fifty dollars. Oh, okay. Well, that's still good. Okay. Usually, red super chats mean a hundred dollars. That's all, that's all good. 
still really generous. Thanks for super chat. Um, I am not Gianta. Did a five pound super chat. Hi, Legend. Can you please explain how auxiliaries work, please? Can't seem to get bonuses from them. Wood Elves campaign can't boost my blade singers like Woma 2 no more. Can you please explain how auxiliaries work? Do you mean like alliance units? Well, it's pretty simple. If you have an alliance, you accumulate alliance points and then you can borrow, you can recruit from their roster. You usually can't boost them. That's all there is to it. Thanks for the super chat. This is why I usually don't get alliance units. Now, there are some instances where it's good to get alliance units. For example, if you're playing as... Let's say you're playing Wood Elves and you ally yourself with the Dwarfs. That allows you to actually get some artillery. So you can fill up gaps in your roster if you want. But you usually don't need to because every roster has a strength and a weakness. And you just sort of lean into your strengths. You don't need to be like, oh, I need artillery as Wood Elves. You don't need artillery. But it's just an example. Maybe he meant followers. Right. Right. Well, okay, yeah. So, again, self-explanatory. Um, right. Ancillaries. See, ancillaries and auxiliaries, two different things. <laughs> okay, ancillaries. Yeah, it just does what it says it's going to do. But if you're going to put something that says Lord's Army on a hero, it won't work. It has to say Hero's Army. Um, just keep that in mind. Sometimes you can equip items on heroes that don't work. And that's just a issue with the game, I guess. Witness my beauty. Vectique, yeah, name one of the rats Vectique. Vectique the Unstoppable and Ikit. Vectique and Ikit, best friends forever. Alright, so this one over here, we want to pop that to here. Same thing there. I actually, I actually quite prefer Marauder Horsemasters. Nah. Yeah, they gotta get them all level up. Okay, I think we're done. Hang on, I was looking at technologies, I didn't know what to get. Um, yeah, let's get towards a tuning ritual, it is quite good. They will lower a lot of my Nurgle. Well, let's just get Dark Meditation, and then I'll head over to Maddening Gifts. Actually, no, let's get Rusted Branding Iron first. Okay, and... Let's move on. I think I've moved all my armies. Yeah, alright, so next turn we should be getting... Fe uh, not Festus, uh, Dragon Ogre Boy. Kolek. Do you not get Chaos Knights with Lancers? You can get them if you want, but they're more expensive than the regular Chaos Knights. They have lower melee defense, but higher charge bonus. It's up to you. Now, I don't consider charge bonus to be a vital, important stat beyond a certain point. It's not like the regular Chaos Knights have zero charge bonus. Their charge bonus is like 50, which is pretty high, right? So getting it to 90... Is it really going to provide more value than melee defense? Considering these units get stuck in melee a lot, I just think that for more upkeep cost, having them be uh, more durable would be more important. But again, it's entirely up to you which way you want to go about it. Would you make Chaos Knights of Zinch? They are the strongest, I believe. I, I agree. Well, depends how you look at it. Chaos Knights of Zinch... Having Barrier is very useful, but also Chaos Knights of Slanesh are particularly quick. That's, in my opinion, more useful. But when playing as Archaeon, you definitely benefit from having undivided units. So it's up to you how you want to go about it. You can go full Zinch if you want. Ionut Gianta did a £5 super chat. Yes, followers or ancillaries. My bad. I was hoping not to be a game issue, but I guess it is. Thank you anyway. Yeah, there are some bugs and issues in the game, for sure. And there's not much you can do about it sometimes. Magic! Casting! Casting! No! Spirit of Walker! Alright, 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 alright. So. We need to go into encamp stance. 
and just make our way down here. Now, I will oh shit, you have much movement. For chaos. Okay, that should be fine. All right, and we want we'll these the guys. Yeah, we'll start at Trollfjord. Sail for corn. Actually, you know what? I'll send the trolls up to Serpent Jetty. Should have stayed out of that area. They'll be fine. Trolls are good. What? Who are you and your? What have you done with Legend? Uh, trolls are good in Warhammer 3. I like them now. Alright, here we go. So, this looks easy because they didn't put any defenses here. It should be his only settlement, right? Damn it! It's not! <laughs> Damn it, he got another settlement. Down here. Fuck. God damn it. Um, well, I couldn't attack it last turn. He's not likely to lose it. Okay, we'll still get this vassal anyway, straight away. But it won't... Con oh, that could be a problem. How strong is he? Gold tooth, and he's not very strong. Shit. Because, yeah, if I have to revive him, it won't take impossibly long, but I'd have to do it from Dragon's Death. Alright, I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, I'm gonna risk it. Alright, we need to declare one of these guys here first. Always ready for a headbutting contest. You know nothing. Okay. Noble of the Oblast. Okay. Bring the other army in as well. Time to die. Eddie one nine zero three subscribed to tier two. This is for two months. Thanks, dude. That's I really appreciate Feel that. Always nice to listen to Legend in second monitor. That's how most people like to do it, and I have no problem with that. Cut Three that turns down. left. Mm. Uh, okay, so if these units get wiped out, hopefully that means that they'll replace them with better units. Because it's time to hand it back anyway. Yeah, sack it. Because it's going to be a tier one. Might as well make some money out of it. And this will reduce my construction cost by 5%. The wrath of Kislev. Defender of Kislev. Despoil and ravage. Alright, no sense to give the army back just yet. A step too far. Probably we'll have to fight this manually. Bow before the mountain god. Defy me! Yep. Okay, and let's do this. Should probably level up my characters first, unless this is an order resolve win. It is. Oh, it would have been so much better, Kolek, if you just hadn't captured another settlement over that end turn. Because that way, I could have left this at tier 4. Now i got to get it at tier 3, which isn't as valuable. Also, how much territory does this guy have? I'm going to have to look a different way. Got four regions. I think this one here has salt. Which means they have to give it to me eventually. Because I like my salt. <laughs> um, Alright, let's level up the characters and then make the attack. Okay, do it that way. Um, good, stench ridden, that's what you want to see. That's good. Wizard warrior, spell singer, spell slinger. Sorry. Wizard warrior, I think is better. That that's pretty good. 
They're going to be in a hero stack. Seems pretty useful. Good, more healing for us. I might actually be able to auto resolve it now because leveling these guys up has improved their stats quite considerably, which should hopefully improve our auto resolve. All of them. Get back over there. Attack. Be funny if the auto resolve is actually worse. It's a better auto resolve. I'll take that. <laughs> That's tempting, but that would mean the settlement get knocked down to tier two. Now we don't need to worry about souls that much. Now I just got to find a way to get to Gorge or Rock before they get wiped out. Now, if we have a look at them, they will, yeah, they're at war with Dolgan. So it would be good for us if they could take out Blizzard Peak. Yeah, if they could take out Blizzard Peak, that way I could go and grab it. All of these other settlements over here are of no value to me, so that doesn't matter. Alright, then over here, we can get ourselves some more heroes. That's good. Let's, let's get some of my saved heroes. Okay. I foresee destruction. So I think that's a full... No, no, need one more unit for a full stack. Good, that gives us a full stack. Good stuff there. Alright, now these guys will have to make their way down here and look after the challenge stone while this army goes and tries to snatch Gorge Rock. Hopefully right after they destroy Blizzard Peak, that would be good for us. Was hoping we'd be able to get it this turn, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't go your way. Alright, this seems fine. Alright, are we ready to land? Nope. Okay, that can wait till next turn. Alright, let's do some construction. We got a whole bunch of money this turn. And was there something else I was supposed to get? Yeah, yeah, this one over here. Actually, hold off on those. That's not going to provide a great return on investment. Because if we just wait a little bit longer, we'll be able to... Mm, 5%. Yeah, that's not going to make much of a difference. Let's do it now. Because, yeah, that'll that'll increase our income here. Not worth waiting two turns. Good, that's all... Settlements with construction sorted. Good. Alright, let's move on. Now remember, Kolek can be revived, so if he ends up getting wiped out, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's also check up on Village. We need to make our way over to him as well. Yeah, he's still around. That's that's going fine. No! We're gonna have to help him out sooner rather than later. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I need I need to stop Zatan. Anyway, there's some good stuff here. Malice87, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Did you confederate Sigvald? Yes, we've got Sigvald. We've got Sigvald and Valkia and Bellacor. 
So I'm missing four of the Chaos Legendary Lords. Kolek. Azazel. Please don't declare war. This is really not convenient. <laughs> Probably going to wipe out Harkness straight away. That's really not convenient. Thought he might attack. Oh shit, they're bringing the real big guns. Mmm, okay, bringing some real big guns here. Now, Funny thing here is that it's cavalry versus cavalry for the first fight. Looking at Carl Franz, 78 versus 48. He will lose to Archeon, plus Archeon can heal thanks to this guy. Carl Franz can't do any healing, I don't think. So yeah, Archeon will easily win this first fight, that's no problem. It, the second fight's nothing. The third fight is nothing. Alright, I don't want them all showing up at the same time. I probably don't even need this army. Archeon should be able to handle this on his own. But yeah, 20 versus 20 at a time would be nice. Especially because we got cavalry. But yeah, if we have to withdraw Archeon's forces, it's fine. As long as he defeats the first army. Because there's a lot of armored units here. And there's not so much in the next one. Sandor Kligling... Yeah. He can handle the second and third army. So what we want to do immediately is get Carl Franz on the ground, because we've got no flying units. Get him on the ground and have Archeon. Play hide the sausage with him. Actually, maybe Archeon should go and take this one out first. Just rush at all these outriders, they can't do anything to us. As long as they're running backwards, they can't fire backwards. The pistol is can, but they don't have much armor piercing. All right, these, oh, this unit here, you'll you'll withdraw from the battlefield immediately because you're too slow. That way we can bring in Sandor himself, he can help out. All right, we've got Vanguard deploy, so let's make use of that. This one, if we, if we attack them all from the rear, like this, if I could fit in there. Oh, what if I attacked from the rear, but also from the forest? They won't see us coming. I should take that guy off his chariot. It's okay for this battle, but for the next one, you don't want to be on a chariot going up against Empire. You stand over there. You probably hang back as well. Just, just have Arco invisible. Damn it! Damn it! That's not where I wanted you to be. I can move fast enough, I'll just go straight in there and attack that Temple of Luminarch, and while they're busy, that's when we bring out the cavalry. Because yeah, they just don't expect you to do this with your lord, which is funny because that's what they do with their lord. A little time. That's actually not working out so well. Oh, 
I do want to duel him. I just don't want to duel him with a bunch of these other units here. Confused. Here we go, here we go. This is good. Come at me, boy. Now we don't want to fight him while also fighting a bunch of other units. That's not ideal. Yeah, that's it. That's it, that's what I'm gonna do. Charging a bit of an uphill fight here, but that should be fine. I need to get this one over here to support Archeon. Oh, shit, that's not good. Okay, just get these ones here off the battlefield. He's being real slippery there. Over here, over here. Good thing Empire Knights are totally useless against Chaos Knights. Good, get some healing in for Archeon and these guys here. Good. Okay, Carl France is down. That's good. Right, the Reichsguard are actually good against our Chaos Knights, though. Okay, we don't want him to stay here in prolonged combat. That's not really going to work for us. Okay, Arco needs to duel all these single entities because the Chaos Knights are not going to be good against that. Okay, I don't really want to be fighting so close to the edge here, it's not really to our advantage. We need to be out of flank. So just back off a little bit so we can fight more in this open field here, which works very much to our advantage. Which are the Chaos Warriors? Nah, I don't need to. What, so I can bring in some dogs? Letting the Chaos Knights handle it. They need experience. Yeah, like I said, they're not good against single entities. You gotta let Archeon sort that out. Problem is these guys here, they are refusing to let up. Okay, I need another heal. Run in. 
Ashes many glories. Move fast. Archeron. Berserker. Lord of the End Times. Yeah, too many single entities, so uh, Chaos Knight is just not good against these guys. Not good at killing them quickly, at least. Like, we haven't taken that much damage, we're fine. Good thing we're in encamp stance. That's another thing, I don't really want to use this army because it's not an encamp stance. Okay, guys, there's some summons now. Just draw them in a little bit more and then charge at them. Because, yeah, the missile units are no problem at all. But I just don't want to be constantly getting pushed in and there's lots of like melee infantry that are good against us coming in with us unable to flank them. Alright, we've got a couple of units that are pretty badly damaged. I think this one here should just be removed from the battlefield. That way I keep it at above half strength. Okay, these cavalry here, get out of there. You three can stay there just fine. He's got heals for us. Then our cavalry have a bit of a rest. Actually, no, you don't need to withdraw from the battlefield, just hang out over here. Good, Arco, I'm getting some extra heals there. Nice big blob of in, uh, cavalry over there. Let's go send the single entities to go take that out. Draw in the infantry just a little bit more. I know Archeon specific equipment, he can use some barrier. Yep, you're absolutely right. It's just not really been particularly convenient to go and do those quest battles just yet. But you're, you're not wrong. I mean, you gotta keep in mind that those those um, equipment all require you to do a quest battle. And I had to get over here quickly, I had no time to recover. Usually with those battles you end up taking a shitload of damage. Because don't forget, we're here to save Festus. Festus is nearly dead. So we're in a hurry. I can get those items whenever I want. Once Festus is gone, he can't be brought back. So this is a matter of urgency. But it's not like Archeon struggling. He's doing fine. So much for Carl Franz's no defeat campaign. Still a lot of troops left to come in. Just waiting for these guys here to finish. They're taking freaking forever. Okay, don't need to worry about that one. This one here. They're almost finished with him. 
And these guys here are about to get whole sandwiched. Come on. This guy's immortal, but it would be good to wound him. Just a little bit longer. Alright, that'll have to do. And we're charging downhill at them as well, which is fantastic. And we're nice and fresh. Uh, not halberdiers, go around them. What a fucking slaughter right there. Still a lot of infantry still to come in though. Did we army lost them already? Yeah, look at that. They've got this many troops still to come and they've already been army lost. Like I said, Archeon was able to handle it. On his own, pretty much. As in his army on its own. <laughs> Kill you next time. Refuses to die. There we go. Yeah, kill that captain. If you wouldn't mind. Good. Wow, heroic victory. I didn't think it was that hard, to be honest. Watching you use cavalry is very satisfactory. Cool. Cool, I'm glad you like it. I can't believe he said it's Legend of Total War time and then Total Ward all over them. <laughs> that charged the whole line. The reason why that happened is because we charged down a hill with a lot of mass and we were fresh and they were tired and they fell down the hill and died. So I was waiting for that right opportunity. Why not make some anti-large one? Anti-large cavalry? I don't think... Warriors of Chaos get anti-large cavalry, unless you go with, like, corn skull crushers or something. Are you expecting news for Thrones of Decay today or tomorrow? I'm expecting it tomorrow. Could be today, though. We'll see. I don't know. Like, I don't have any inside information about that today. Yeah, I got, I got no... Hang on, let me just check my inbox. Sometimes I might get something interesting. Um, there's nothing in here that I can see that looks like any sort of tips about what's coming. Yeah.
Is this the best cavalry stack in the game? Oh, definitely not. Now, Bretonia would have the best cavalry stacks. Alright, Festus actually has mid and land. Interesting. Okay. So he's not on the verge of defeat. It just looked like he was. He may have also just captured it, because I might have just relieved a lot of pressure from him. Oh, that sounds good. I'll take that. Yeah, I don't want to lose replenishment rate, especially when I'm about to do a lot of fighting. Well, these guys here decided to do nothing. Let me just see if I can get Blizzard Peak off them anyway. My fellow warlords converge. Do the Kurgan and Tong come south? They might give it up. It's not that essential, it just would help with growth. Right, that gives us a full hero stack there. It's not perfect, but it'll improve over time. So yeah, Festus... Yeah, it looks like he just captured it. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, okay. He's got two settlements. He's got three. Yeah, he's got this one down here as well. Okay. Where can I get a vassal down here? I can vassalize wood elves. I mean, I could. That'd be weird. Valkyrie, the blood Why not? Also, it's time to declare war on Wolfric because. Let's board and find some how many summoners. do you have? Twelve. Because yeah, he should he should submit to me. Agree. Mortals will fail. No. Let's be about this. For chaos. Moving. Can we, now. We can land somewhere. Forward. No, I have to capture this first, I guess. Oh. Oh, he's already at war with the Vanaheimlings, who are mine. That's weird. I'd usually negotiate with Dominic, weird. my fellow warlords converge. Do the Kurgan and toll the way. There will always be blood. Oh, fuck. Can't the glory attack it. Of war. But it's un oh, he has got no forces left, so we we're good. We're good out here. Not Korn's will. Rain, go in. You I wish can't land here. Done. We must not cease. Right, no, I can't. By my black will. You have my promise. Yeah, well. Oh, no. Of all the things, regeneration on units that naturally regenerate. Great. <laughs> Well, that was pointless. Alright, at least we're getting some replenishment there. Reforged for murder. Yeah, I just I'll have to attack it next turn. Yeah, the reason why I wanted to join war was so that my my vassals don't get involved in this, because I want to make sure that only I'm at war with him, not my other vassals, because I want to divvy up this territory accordingly. That's why. Handsome and lethal. Alright, I could send Sigvald to Salzenmund. What's this? Oh yeah, I barely fought that army, didn't I? So Archeon recovered a good amount. Yeah. Look at that, this one's gained more experience. That's good. Do it. Breathe. 
Chaos. Hmm. I can and will. It would be good if we made sure that was their last settlement, so that um, we can keep that at high level. Obviously, this one here is already wrecked. Probably would be best if we timed it so that we take both of these settlements at the same time. And Middenstag. So maybe have you take Middenstag, you'll have to take Middenheim, and Sigvald. Is Sigvald going to be able to manage that? It's only got 12 units in there. Yeah, okay, so these are mostly chosen, because it's probably high level settlement. Yeah, tier 5. Dominance. Yeah, these are not going to be upgrading anytime soon. Hmm. That being said, Sigvald might be able to just do it on his own because he regenerates. And we got a wizard. We should be fine. Alright, just come over here so you can reinforce in this position. We want to make sure you get experience. You need to be in a camp stance. And Archeon, go have some fun. The Lord regens now? Yeah, that's true. Cool, no units get wiped out from our side. Let's just auto that, that way we get maximum amount of experience. Since it would have been an easy fight anyway. Not too many casualties, mostly mostly on the doggos, which is fine. Oh, they got a steam tank. They only got 15 kills. Good amount of money. Yeah, so he's just at war with Reichland. Okay. Endlessly searching. So you need to go on a camp stance as well, since we got no friendly territory to go to just yet. Unless we can get to the no, I can't get to Krudenwald this turn. Never stop. The problem here as well is that there are no vassals to gain out here. So I can't feed any territory to anyone, because Reichland's already confederated them all, except except for them, which I don't want to give them anything other than Lower Lawn Forest. Spread ruin on them! I am the chosen of the gods. This world. You have a scarecrow banner? Oh my god! That's gonna make such a difference. Against an army that's got no flying units. Good, Siggy so got some experience as well. Just a little bit. Archeon himself should have no problem fighting these armies. You dare. Hmm. We'll see. What have we got some equipment for you? So you got the brass cleaver. Glittering scales would be good. I need to take you off that. Ugh, damages him a lot. Path to Glory. Oh, that, that was actually quite useful in that other battle. Let's have a look. There's a Talisman of Preservation on this other dude. Let's put it on you. And Enchanted Item. Pendant of Slanesh. What about... Yeah, you don't have magical attacks. But that being said, when... I didn't know I had one of those. He's got double regen. He doesn't need fucking double regen because he's already got the aura karma. Bring ruin. You don't need that. How dare you have that? Get out. Get the fuck out of that. Oh, that goes to Archeon immediately. Didn't even know I had it. Yeah, you take that. You don't have a weapon. None of this stuff is going to make a huge difference. Excellent. I'll get his army soon. Uh, his, sorry, not his uh, army. His equipment soon. Alright, stand or die is good. Hearts of Iron is probably going to be quite useful. A storm of chaos comes. Despoilers come. Missile resistance for the entire army. That'll be good. Okay.
Alright, we've also got the war with Malekith about to kick off. So that's great. Hellebron, what did you do? Looks like you immediately took a huge L there. And she might actually get wiped out. Okay, what do we got at Grond? 18 units available. I got money. Is it going to be enough to capture... Okay, Hellebron attempted to attack Nagarond, and she failed. Like Is there any other armies I can borrow out here? Yes, this one. I need your help. The sheep. A certainty. Yes. And we'll need to recruit some... Just whatever's available here. Probably a wizard would be good. Yep, you'll do. Now they will see true power. Damn, we just need everything. That's actually not that expensive. Okay. Because i got to protect my assets. If we can manage to grab Nagaron, that'd be great. I'd actually hand that over to Hellebron. I definitely don't want Hellebron getting wiped out. I could borrow that army and take it out of here just to prevent her from getting wiped out as a faction. Because I don't think she's going to be very useful right now. Maybe I'll wait until next turn because it doesn't look like she's going to get attacked. Just wait for her to pick up a few units. But yeah, I'll... Escort it, even if they end up losing the chill road, I'll make sure she gets it back. Could Belicor be your general at Malika's direction? He's not available yet. Yeah, yeah, when he comes when he when he's available, that's a great idea actually. But he's not available for another two turns. But that is a very good idea. This is why you need to have emergency funds for that kind of stuff to happen. Okay. All right, all these guys over here. How are we going to get it? Gorge Rock, whilst them also getting towards Blizzard Peak. Maybe if I go into ambush stance, that might work for us. Beyond your comprehension. Because yeah, he's probably looking at this army here, going, "Oh shit, that looks like a bit much." Also, we've got plenty of glory and souls. Let's devote some more to Nurgle. Virulent strike. That's pretty good. Need to be at seven for that. Because, yeah, I, in my personal opinion, Nurgle's the way to go with him. Alright. So, that's all looking pretty good. Still got some more of those heroes. Oh, what was this trade? Iron skin. Eh, that's not that good. Better than nothing. Alright, all good. This is a bloody mess. This guy here could also devote to Nurgle. Nurgle elevates me. Champion of rot quicker. That'll do for now. I don't want to spend too many souls. Alright, and looking at our armies. Okay, so these ones here just sort of creep on up to about here. They've got a lot of heroes, so there's a decent chance that they'll detect us. There's no chance of them actually attacking us, though. They'll probably smash this guy. Maybe I should have gone around the other way. Doesn't really matter. Let's just wait and see. Uh, these armies here, I'm probably going to re-borrow them again. So let's just get them down to the challenge stone so they can defend it, because this area here is... Actually, this one here needs to go and get some more troops. You go back, get stronger, and I'll reborrow you again. But this one's fine. If we have a look over here, we should see... Yeah, he's actually been reducing his army strength a little bit. Because when you borrow their armies, they actually get weaker. I don't want to borrow a single lord army. This one's a little bit stronger than just one lord. Zinch army over here I can borrow. 
Not much. There's Daniel. It serves chaos. He can't do much. We shall weave the fates. Okay. I think that's all I can do. Okay, technologies. So we just researched this. I want to get maddening gifts. Yep. And just move on. Check up on village. I, I don't want to check up him every turn. I checked him in last turn. Um, Granorite 001, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Who do you focus on in your Norska campaign other than other tribes? Man, I just I just go in all directions playing as Norska. Norska is very powerful right now. Maybe a little bit on the boring side, but very powerful. Alright. I need to recruit this army, and I need to borrow that army immediately in order to save it. To save um, Harganeth. That would be actually very interesting if Harganeth is wiped out. And I've still got control of their army. That would be very interesting to see what happens with that. Alright, what are they doing? Oh, look, my army remained hidden. That was lucky. Considering how many heroes were there. When global recruit time is reduced to one, are there are the heavy war sled worth it compared to light war sleds, in your opinion? No, because they're slower. Speed is more important with sleds, and a little bit of armor and melee defense isn't worth the loss of about 10 speed. So, in my opinion, heavy war sleds are never worth getting over light war sleds. Their damage output is exactly the same. Is the Aspiring Champion Doomsnack still the best way to go? I remember them benefiting from every single tech, basically. In the late stage of the campaign, which we're not at yet, definitely. It's really bloody good. But right now, we haven't got all those techs yet. And so, they're still good. And we are recruiting them. It also takes a while to get an Aspiring God, Champion awakened. army going. Sword Maiden of the Blood God. Alright, I need you to just hand that settlement straight over to them. Violence That'd be good for her death. to gain some experience. Oh yeah, definitely sack it first. It definitely. From whence the blood flows. How do you increase Lord Recruit rank with High Elves? The Dragon Building. The, tra the building that recruits dragons. Alright, could you Destruction. sort this out then? Okay. And I think there's, yeah, there's one in there for you. They will be dominated. Cool. And Valkyrie. Oh, what the fuck happened here? What the hell? Such meager resistance. You go scout up ahead. I want to know what happened. Ah. Lame fucking rogue army went and did it. Sweet, sweet murder. I find your motives unclear. You son of a dick. All right. Um. There will always be blood. A glorifying act. The Gore right. Queen. True chaos. Fucking bloody rogue armies. Alright. Eight units and another six. Yeah, I think this troll army could handle that. Don't think I'll be able to land this turn. Oh no, I might. Ooh. Yeah! I don't think I'll be able to bring back Varg. I think Varg was confederated. Alright. I think I need to fight this manually because. No, hang on, hang on. I think there's a troll in here. Yeah, there's a troll. That gives us our full troll army. Also, I've got... 
think all of these can be upgraded to armored trolls. But legend, I thought you said that armored trolls weren't worth it. Uh, Reno Master, Meister did a 2.22 euro super chat. Would you enjoy a total war in a current setting? Like, set in 2024? Probably not. Um, I don't think that that's going to happen, personally. CA tend to want to play it safe, and I think that that's something that would not really be playing it safe. Um, but I'd be willing to give it a shot. I'd, I'd, look, I would try any Total War game. If it looks good. That's the main thing that I care about. If it doesn't look good, I'm not interested in it. Okay, yeah, we can play that. It's fine. Yeah, Varga gone. Yeah, they can't be brought back. The level 3 ones can be upgraded as well. Yeah, because you only need 3 levels up. Mm, no, I should be fine. Should be fine. How's that morale? It's alright. Hockland lives, vassalize. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! What comes? That's great that they're here. Yeah, that way I can feed uh, territory over to them. Um, they actually own both settlements as well. That's that's great, I guess. Um, we still. What happened here? Looks like he took a hit. Maybe we don't need to do it right this very second. Uh, maybe Siggy. Siggy, if you could make your way towards the Brass Keep. Yeah, you're at full strength. Got 12 units to overcome with 20. I mean, it's fucking Marauders, so that's not great. Oh, no, there's going to bring in... Oh, no, that's a lot. Bring in five additional units. 17. Ready. With this... I mean, Sigvold will be worth several units, and this one here will be worth a couple. Good. Now we see. Are you a god? Shit, that's gonna be really fucking hard to win with Marauders. Upgrade them. Hmm. The yes, other alternative is to send power. this one in... Oh, God. Shit. The other alternative is to attack Krudenwald with the these two. Come. And pick up some more forces so that we can go and hit the Brass Keep. Archeon can hit here straight away. That shouldn't be a problem for him. Yeah. And he can take Minsan, because that needs to be the last settlement that we capture. And that'll also give Sigvold the chance to gain some more experience. And same thing with his units here. Because this will be absolute dog shit. Alright, yeah, you come in. You're just a support army anyway. The Dark Prince wishes. Yeah, buy us some time to get things organized. I could, maybe, use the Blue Scribes to help out in the battle. Eh, Blue, Scribe, Blue Scribes only level 1. It's not going to do much at this stage. Need a Zinch army to um, get him into. The bastards of chaos are here to treat. I invoke the no. Oh, they've got a fair bit of territory. For chaos. I may need to fight this manually. Oh, no, apparently not. Cool. Any ideas who the dwarf lord will be? Sorry, fast before I just got here. I don't know. Sorry. Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. I haven't been given any tip-offs about that. Alright, well Sigvold recovers really quickly, because he's got lots of slanesh. So, so yeah, he'll be at full strength, so that's good. And his army gets a tiny little bit stronger. We gained a little bit of experience in that fight. Not enough to get any Chaos Warriors, which would have been good. Uh, 
Uh -huh. More melee attack is good. Excellent. Spirits of war with my help. I think his army got wrecked over the end turn. Festus's defeat trade is not too bad for us, but we'll be fine without it. All right, Festus, see ya. Time to confederate him. Well, you know, work towards confederation. I might be able to auto this. Oh shit, this is strong in auto. Should really get rid of that banner. Damn, that was, well, it's all just low tier stuff, so that's fine. All right, this gives up gives us a base of operations in this area. Get rid of that. Repair this. Oh, there's Festus. Fancy we can beat him. We can beat him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to capture Middenstag next turn, and then all we gotta do is get to the Brass Keep. Now, what we really need to do as well is maybe grab all of these units before they get it. I don't think they'll recruit a new lord over there just this very second. Alright, you stand here. I'll need to recruit another... Excuse me, another lord. Yeah, you'll do. And just, yeah, get him to help us out with this. As best as he possibly can. Maybe I'll, I'll attach this one to come and help. New Empire Lord? Oh, I don't have any information about that, sorry. No idea. I imagine the new Nurgle Lord is like... I actually have no idea. Guardian of the land. Alright, this will be handed over. Have I got... Oh, I definitely don't have enough to, to reclaim it. Has he given us any instructions? No. Alright, you just stay here for the turn. Alright, I really want them to come over here and take Blizzard Peak. So I've got to give them the time to do that. So just chill and let him let it happen. Hang on, if I come out of ambush dance, okay, yeah, just stay right there. Hopefully, we'll stay in ambush dance because if they capture this settlement or at least blow it up, then I can go and grab it for myself. It's possible that this army will hang around over here instead. So we're just gonna have to wait and see with that. I'm not gonna worry too much about the levels up. It's not gonna make that big of a difference. I wish this lord here would get wounded so I could borrow this army. It's actually not too bad. Just seeing if there's any armies out here that I could borrow. Yeah, I borrowed this one. Bring it over here. Okay, we've got a problem here. Mother of the Dark Convent. The goddess forbids it. Okay, we can't get Bellacor up here yet. This is their last settlement. And they're just going to sit there and basically die over the end turn. However, if I borrow this army right now, I might be able to save Harganeth. This is going to be weird. I've never done this before, but I'm going to give it a shot. So you come back over here. Ever closer. Get some extra units. They're going to lose the chill road, but they were going to lose it anyway, because I don't think we we're in a position to attack that. Got some more recruits here. And we also need another Lord, which we can swap out for Bellacor next turn. Just get as many troops as possible, because this is all just garbage, and we're going to be fighting units that are probably a lot stronger than us. Got defenses up here, so we'll be fine. Could borrow this army as well. I and mean, he's just hanging around here doing nothing. Might be a good idea if this army comes out and goes into channeling stance. That could be useful. What about you? Can't borrow this army. Hmm. No, just... Oh, there's this Chaos Warriors of corn though. Who knows, that could be the difference between victory and defeat. Bring him over. Cover more ground. Okay. 
I really like the borrowing army feature. It's one of my favorite features in Warhammer 3 that they added. I think it's really good. All right, Hockland. Yeah, just leave that. I'll be probably giving the settlement back to them once I've. Hang on, how many settlements do they actually have? Do not wait. Two. Yeah, we should try to vassalize them as quickly as possible. I can give them her gig from Talibheim, right? I think I can. Yeah, we got to get to the Brass Keep first, because they, they don't have any forces left. They're nothing. Alright, do we have any other movements we need to make? Be quiet. Go into that stance just to work towards... Oh yeah, that's what we want. Does that increase our income by... It should. Killing ability. Yeah, it does. Um, go into that stance so that we get the ambusher trait. Not because we like her ambushing, but because it would be good for her to have ambush defense. Alright. All good. All good. Can you give factions without territory settlements? No, but what I can do is blow up a settlement and then give her army back right in front of that ruin so that she ruin dwells it. That's the plan. If if they if that ends up happening. By the Eldritch I see. There's a shitload of units over here as well. Oh fuck it. Let's go. Let's just let's just fucking go. I got heaps of money. Let's do it. Full stack right away. By the Eldritch I see. You need a boon. The gods smile. My lord seems nice. at least. <laughs> Good. Moving. Alright, well that gives us a lot to work with. A lot of shit, but... We, you know, we might be able to make that work. It's better than nothing. It's all we've got available. Okay, and let's move on to the next turn. Boris Todd, bring us a legendary lord, please. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about that happening, but it does make sense for them to do that. But from what I've heard, that's not the free legendary lord. They had another army there. And Malekith didn't launch an attack. Hi Legend, would you say the Warriors of Chaos are the race that has improved the most from Warhammer 2? No attrition for putting armies together, and the Warband system seems pretty good. Yeah, they've had... Well, they're the only ones that's had a major rework. So, the answer to that is yes. Without any further explanation needed, it's obviously yes. Alright, let's see what happens here. Come on, go after Blizzard Peak. Good, that'll help keep my guy undetected. Why are they so friggin' passive? Separate fools! You dare come? Who's supposed to be FLC? I believe it's for Nurgle Epidemius. So yeah, I have, wasn't given like a full picture about what Thrones of Decay was going to be. I've just got bits and pieces. I've had no information about the Lords and Heroes for Dwarfs. For Empire, it should be Elspeth von Draken. Tamrakan and Epidemius for Nurgle. Don't know about any of the Legendary Heroes. Who are the toughest opponents for Warriors of Chaos to deal with? 
No, they can pretty much handle anyone. Yeah, I can't borrow the army again. Son of Mandalore did a 50 pound super chat. No Ligma here, just a happy subscriber, still loving the content. I don't catch many live streams because of work, so I wanted to show some appreciation. Have, have a great stream. No, he's doing that's very generous of you. 50 pounds goes a long way. Appreciate it. I follow Zeech alone. I want that salt, god damn it. Why won't you to give honest, me the salt? I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. Too much economic value. The settlement's gotta get smashed up. Yeah. That's why I don't give him the trade agreement. That's how we got the other settlement off um Ag Hole. Oh, I need to get over there before the they fucking win. Though Festus looks like he's doing all right. You Not Festus, um, this village. You dare to barter with me? I have broken deals with gods. Mm. What to do? What to do? What to do? This has got a big stalemate here where we're doing nothing. It might be better to get a peace treaty with him, allow him to just keep fighting ogres, which are doing oh, no. not much. Problem is, ogres might wipe him out, but I need to get over to village before he gets wiped out by Zatan the Black. I foresee destruction. And that'll give me some time to beef up the defenses here. Yeah, that should go. Um, what? yeah. Or what I could do, what I, this is what I could do. Just friggin' don't peace out with him. Wait until they go and capture this, and then peace out with them, and then I'll go capture it later. Because that could take ages. They're just massively fucking around. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go after Zatan the Black, so that I can go and help Village. Because this over here is just... It's not... The things that I want happening are not happening. I need to give it more time, and I can't just sit around doing nothing. Especially with an army of, of this quality. Alright, we saw that Festus ran out this way. So he's probably not within range of Middenheim, although we should probably go and check. He is in range. What he's doing here, he's waiting for us to leave the area so that he can go and recapture it. Yeah, they got 17 units there. I don't need to move down to Middenstag this turn. I can do it next turn. You have my favor. Fool! At mid and we should. Yeah, I can't do that just yet. What? Forward unto slaughter. A world in choice. Onward to destruction. All right. Yes, and then this guy here just picks up a whole bunch of crap to help us out in the coming fight here, which will just be disbanded straight after we win. So we recruit it now, so that if they were to recruit a lord here, they don't get it. Cock blocking them. Is that everything? Destruction for all. Yeah, there's nothing left anyway. Are you a god? Completely nothing. Okay, that's good. Are you a god? I will acquiesce. Yeah, I just can't quite make it there. Crudenvold is safe. I guess. Yep. Expedite sickness. Oh, let me just see if I can actually make them a vassal, as it is right the now. That also reminds me, treat. they've got... The protection of Sigma. Uh, they've got settlements that I want, because of the, the resource here. I want that. And I want that one. So maybe I'll just wipe them out. <laughs> I don't need Crudenvold. Just abandon it. Yes, yeah, abandon. It's no value to me at all. Can always ruin dwell it again later if I need it. Can get your ass over here. All right, we got a lot of force here, and we've also got Bellacor, so we're gonna kick this guy out for Bellacor. 
Alright. I don't think there's any time for respecking him right now. So we'll just make do with what we've got. Ferocious. Alright. Powerful sorceress. We shall weave the fates. I foresee destruction. Alright, let's get down here. Hopefully they don't have lightning strike. Good. We spread since his design! The first. No. Okay, the and you just stay back walks. here because I'm trying to keep your faction alive. Flickering fire, frazzling fiends! Now they will see true power. There's nothing left to recruit. Depleting my finances doing this, but that's okay. You don't want the die. Uh, I'm keeping the brass keep. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to keep the brass keep. That was never under question. I said these two settlements here. I want to keep those two. I guess I could give it to them, and then if I declare war on the ice court, they'll eventually take it off them, maybe. I don't know. Because I could use a vassal to feed things to out here. Alright, I think we've got battles to do in Norska. Let's have a look. So... What happened to those guys? The Hong. Here they are. They're in full retreat. Cool. Okay, at Serpent Jetty, that's of no value to me. Just hand it over to them. Because this will actually make us more money. If it's under their control. Because it makes us nothing. And Norskans make good money from their ports. Really good money. And we get a portion of that. Was that supposed to trigger over this turn? Mm, I don't know. You dare! Consort of corn! What is thy will? For the blood god! Fold! Moving! Not nothing else here that we need. Alright, you what? attach back into Valkyrie. Siphon power! So it looks good out here. Alright, any more construction? Although we don't have much money. No, nothing to do. Any more armies that have moved? Well, Archeon hasn't moved. Okay, tell me what we can do with him. We can put him in ambush stance and maybe try to lure Festus over. So that I can get his defeat trait before I kill him. Well, not kill him, but you know what I mean. Alright, this one here can also be turned into Chaos Knights. And this one needs two more experience. Alright, got a little bit of experience here to set up. Almost maxed out strength now. There's not really much else to do. What? There was training though. Alright, okay, I've still got a heap more to go. So, red line is finished. Haven't quite finished his melee line or his blue line. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. Excellent. Alright, he should be switched over to his Chaos Dragon for the next fight. Yep. The gods smile. Fight quest battle with Arco now seems like a good time. <sighs> yes and no. That's actually not the worst idea ever. It's just that there are enemy armies right there. And if we walk out of it really badly damaged, that's not good. But yeah, we should definitely do it in the next couple of turns, for sure. Look at that. Four units of Dark Elves destroyed a full stack of Norska. Yeah, major factions will pretty much always win in order resolve against minor factions. Doesn't even matter what they've got, they just always win. Thrones of Delay news today. I believe that's been delayed. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, they're coming in to snatch up the easy wins. Any defeats? Not yet. It's not a no defeat campaign, but yeah, we haven't suffered any defeats. Let me just see. Do I have that? Yeah, we can put that on. Okay, how about this? You guys like that? That looks good, right? News will be out tomorrow. That's what I think as well. Can you make it bigger? I can make it bigger. Let's not get silly with it. I still intend to attack them. Shenanigans. 10,000. Hmm. Character experience gains pretty good, but 10,000. Yeah, I'm going to go with 10,000. I can't help it. I like money. All right. Is this the turn? I, I think we should be in pretty good shape to talk, take out um, no. Festus. We need to make sure that this is the last... Oh, hang on a second here. Never. I cannot. This guy should have a griffin. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. How are we going to do this? Because I've only got a garrison here of eight. I will hear. If I hang on, if, what if I told Chaos. Sandor Clegane to? How many units are here? Four. Okay. Because, yeah, we've got to take this first. It's the last... There's two settlements. They both have to go in order for us to get this. But I kind of need RK on here to defend the settlements. If I go up this way, I won't be able to take Middenstag. So he has to do this this turn. Losing Middenheim would not be a big deal. What would happen, though, is it would be a defeat, which people will be like, oh, they didn't you suffer a defeat. Because, like, if, if they capture the settlements, tier one, who fucking cares? One more turn and Mung will give us some extra defenses. But yeah, I was going to have him help out in this battle, but I just don't think we need him. We've, we've got this one here helping out. That should be enough. I might even be able to order us all, but... So yeah, send Sandor Clegane back to Middenheim. Take off the dragon. Chaos Steed. Just because missile units will hurt him, otherwise. Archeon can then sort this out. That's a settlement that we want, not this one. So yeah, we're gonna sort this one out here. Could just blow it up. It's of no value to me whatsoever. See ya. This amount of, um, of that. Oh, for fuck's sake. He went right next to Middenheim. I didn't need to send Sandor Clegane over here. <laughs> Should be fine. Should be fine. Alright, now it's time to get the confederation with Festus. Alright. Siggy, butt brain, you need to launch the attack. Yep, I was expecting an auto resolve defeat, but that's... Probably a little bit better than I was expecting, considering that's chosen, and we got nothing but marauders. Are you a god? Boy, 
with an extra full stack, it actually makes no difference. We have to fight this battle manually. Seems like there's a pretty wide margin of what a Valiant defeat is considered. They'll likely have very powerful towers. We've got Shatterstone, so we can get rid of quite a few of them. I have to fight it manually. What else can you do? Uh, Hey, this could be the beginning of a Nurgle army. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hang on, hang on. If we're going to do this... Wipe them out. If we're going to make a Nurgle army, let's make sure we've got the required Lord for a Nurgle army, which is Death Magic. So you can go... I'll get a Death Wizard up in here. He's actually a pretty good dude. So we need a Lord of... Chaos Sorcerer Lord of Death. I've got two available. Both are shit. I'll just go with this one. Okay, that way you're going to get experience for this. We shall weave the fates. Unleash chaos. Be funny if that changes this to a auto resolve win. Yeah, I'll start working on a um, a Nurgle melee infantry army. All right. Well, I have to fight this manually. There is. Oh, hang on, hang on. I've got some equipment that I can put on <laughs> Siggy. We don't need to give him the crown of everlasting conquest. But I should give him a Talisman of Preservation. He doesn't need that right now. And Enchanted Item... What do we got? 35 Physical Resistance, 16% Ward Save. Enchanted Item. Let's have a look. Potion of Speed is shit. Let's, um, let's fuse that. Oh, don't fall for that again. Doom Totem, which is... Not that good. Um, Chance Vance did a $5 super chat. Damn, I wish I had a beard like that. Saw your videos on CA moving forward. How much hope do you realistically have that CA won't fail? I don't know. It's hard to have a lot of faith in CA at the moment. I have faith that they have been sufficiently kicked up the ass that they are... They understand the situation. That they cannot afford... Like, sometimes when... If, when when someone or a company hits rock bottom, that's when they turn things around and do their best work. And I'm relatively confident that that has happened, that they have realized they cannot afford to fail anymore. So, Blue Scribes win. You're right, I need to get the Blue Scribes up in here. Let's get rid of this. This is mainly just to get experience for it. Oh, if we're going with a Nurgle army, probably not a good idea to put a Zinj character in there. But it's just just to get experience. He's not Nurgle yet, anyway. Oh, I didn't... Oh, my God. I didn't put in a, um... Enchanted item. Hang on. Yeah. The short answer to that one is... I'm reasonably confident that they're going to do the best that they can. You know, that, that, that's all I can say. I really don't know what's going on at CA right now. But they can't afford to fail. And I'm definitely not rooting for them to fail. Uh, that's not very useful. Blasphemous Amulet. He's already got magical attacks. Pendant of Slinish. Alright, let's go with that. Any ancillaries that might be useful? Blasted Standard? Nah. When attacking at sea, it's not very useful. No, that was have to do. Okay, here we go. Yeah, nothing's giving us a water resolve win here. Why Death Magic and Nurgle? Uh, a Death Wizard is the only one that's able to um, to convert to Nurgle. So a Shadow Magic one, I believe that can only convert to Slanesh. Fire Wizard and Metal Wizard can convert to Zinch. I, th uh, 
I think metal can also convert to slanesh as well. I'm not sure. Two students are available. It's not a big deal. While using metal wizards in particular for the hero army, best lore of magic of what's available. Variety is not that big of a deal. Item on the future Nurgle Lord? Nah, he's not really going to participate. It's going to be mostly Siggy. Alright, the best place for us to launch an attack would probably be here. We get two of those. Hang on, what about over here? Yeah, this is one of the strongest defenses places. Maybe over here would be the best place. No. There. That's where we launch the attack. Okay. Alright, Siggy, you just go straight up there. You go and help out as well. So these towers are... Oh, they're only low tier towers. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, reinforcements on the way. Alright, take out that tower there. And this one here. Take out both of those and then we can maybe advance. At last, carnage. Alright, the spells that we've got here, I reckon Melkoth Mystifying Miasma is probably our best bet. Nice and cheap. And they're just not going to get into a big blob. Got the blue scribes, which they're not really going to be very useful right now. This is just extra bounce of power. And experience. Yeah, this siege map here is the dif most difficult to cheese out of the Empire setups. At least in terms of the tower positions. All of the area is covered. It's funny how Altdorf is actually the worst one. It's got a super weak position. Some absolutely awful settlement designs in this. So what I could do with the blue scribes, just have them fly in and and pop down their just regular Oh, maybe, maybe their magic might be better than the shadow one. I don't know. But it's got a missile attack. I might as well bring it in. They can't really shoot us. Okay, Siggy's almost done. And we do have a decent amount of wins here. I'm just trying to figure out what would be best for us. Zinch's Firestorm. Maybe. That could thin out a lot of the Chosen quite easily. Chaos Trolls. I don't think Chaos Trolls are going to do anything to Sigvold. I like how um, uh, Sliver Slash provides magical attacks with this imbuement, which he had by default anyway. <laughs> Alright. So it's not going to give us a new set of spells because we don't have anything else. Begin the reaping. Uh, that was all. It, it did all right damage. You really need to pop that down on a nice big blob. Jason Edwards did a 500 yen super chat. Legend, I see you don't have a Patreon. What's the best ROI to support your channel? Super chats, joining the channel? Uh, thanks for super chat, dude. Yeah. Well, I don't have a, a Patreon because I'm not a starving artist. Like, once I started making decent money on YouTube, just from just from ad revenue alone, I thought Patreon doesn't seem doesn't really seem fair, especially considering 
I, I already put like 100% of effort into just making the videos in the first place. So I'm not going to make premium content. So I cancelled my Patreon. As for what provides me the best ROI, just subscribe and watch the channel. Honestly, don't worry about donating to me. Like, if you really want to donate, Super Chats are good. Memberships are good too. But just like and subscribe. That's all you got to do. That's the great thing about YouTube is that you've got ad revenue. That, that gets me covered. And if you've got YouTube Premium, that's also good as well. And honestly, the Super Chats that I get, more than enough. So yeah, whatever you're comfortable with. Gen Jace, uh, but became a member for 33 months. I think it's been eight years since I subbed, since Warhammer 1 Early Access. Time flies. Yeah, I can't believe that's eight years ago. Time does fly indeed. Good to have you here. Like, don't get me wrong. I like money. I love money. I just don't believe in over-monetizing my audience. I, I am of the opinion that over-monetizing your audience is not the most profitable way to run your channel. So I try to go with a wide net at a low cost, if that makes sense. Wide net, low cost. That's my business model. How much does adblock hurt you in your opinion? Um, I don't know. I don't really worry about it too much because, look, if you've got adblock on, then watch the whole video because that'll increase my average watch time, which will, <laughs> which will put, help it out with the algorithm. So, you know, and that way other people that don't have adblock on or have YouTube premium, I'll, I'll get money off that instead. Like I said, don't worry about it. I'll do fine. Trust me, if I started like really not making much money, you would hear about it. <laughs> You'd really hear about it. But I do just fine. Oh, oh, uh, actually, let's go, let's go with this. That, what the fuck? Brilliant AI, by the way. Well, I tell you what, it was a good thing we brought him into this battle. Alex Bergdorf did a five dollar super chat. Shout out for not spamming a Patreon link. Yeah, no worries, dude. Thanks for super chat. I have premium, zero ads. I have premium as well. I have zero ads. Yeah. Premium's great. And creators really do benefit from uh, YouTube Premium. They really do benefit from it. It's a good system. All will be despoiled. Uh, when you make love with money, do you use protection or you try to conceive more little coins? Yeah, I try to I try to make my money work for me. Invest. Well, depends what you mean by invest. I invest in my marriage by keeping my wife happy. You know, <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Because it's way cheaper than a divorce. <laughs> you know, my wife wants a new car, and so I thought about it, I'm just like, what's the cheapest option? Well, I think I'm going to get her a new car, because it, that's cheaper than a divorce. <laughs> Not that that was the ultimatum. And also, we're a one-car family, and we've had the same car for ages, and it's getting a bit old. And since we've got a kid, she wants something with more safety features, which makes sense. For the chaos God. Will you get more money if more premium users watch your videos than normal? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Bedweir did a HUF 1000 super chat. Thanks, dude, appreciate that. Are you guys looking... Are you guys going electric cars down there? The technology in Australia isn't very good for going full electric cars. We're looking at hybrid. 
At the moment, we're looking at hybrid. No, actually, we're going full diesel. We're gonna get an absolute fucking... Get one of those really big American trucks that just, like, guzzle di diesel. Terrible fuel economy. And I'm just gonna, like... Just... Chuff... Just puff smoke right into the atmosphere. <laughs> I'm gonna get one of those really, really big cars with, like... Two meter tall wheels. Totally unnecessary for somebody that never leaves the house. I'm just gonna drive around going, look at my big car! <laughs> you know? Buy myself an assault rifle, just out the, out the side of the, the car. Then I'll wake up and realize I don't live in Texas. <laughs> Don't get a hybrid, they're not reliable at all. Okay, fair enough. I'll get, I'll, like I said, I'll get that big diesel guzzler. Alright, so... That's good. And they they really want to just keep that blob going. Can I overcast this? No, I don't have enough magic. Now I do. Hang on, it goes to 9 as opposed to... Six, so it's fifty percent extra for fifty percent extra. All right, why not? Well, it's not fifty percent extra. It's like thirty percent extra. Yeah, truth be told, I don't know much about cars, so I don't know what's what's good or what's not. My wife's doing all the research on it, because I don't care about cars. I just get whatever she wants. I don't care. As long as my wife's boyfriend buys me the next Switch, that's all that really matters. <laughs> I'm kidding about that, by the way. It's an old joke. I think most of the army's already been destroyed. And Sigvald's in good shape. He hasn't done that much damage, though. But yeah, when they blobbed up like that, that really screwed them over. Still got a bit more magic. I can cast a bit more. Man, I'm telling you what. It was a good idea to bring the blue scribes here. Fam Min Heo. I'm sure I butchered that. Uh, became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. If you ever want to go hog hunting in Texas, hit me up. I got a gas guzzler just like that. Okay, if I'm ever in Texas, I'll do that. Just waiting for more magic. Don't know if I want to overcast it again. Siggy's doing great. Just very slow amounts of damage. He's not that leveled up though. Well, only 20. But he's taking on some monsters. Too bad if we could get him a Mortis Engine, that'd be good. Mortis Engine effect. Do you consider buying a Kangaroo Sled? Well, that's not, that's not really a thing. Bro, he's never going to Texas ever again. I've never been to the States, at, ever. Never gone. Is Norsko worth buying at the moment? If you can get it cheap, I wouldn't buy for it at full price. Alright, we got enough magic for another overcasted spell. But no big blobs are left. Siggy's doing just great.
Okay, looks like they're starting to form up around here again. Just give them some time to do that. Actually, those are just marauders. That's not worth a big spell over it. Chaos warriors would be better. Yeah, if we can hit the highest value stuff, that would be best. Doesn't seem like there's much left. And Sigvolt has not yet hit his maximum regen. Alright, I think we hit these chaos warriors. Don't need to overcast it. Actually, yeah, let's overcast it. Hopefully I delete it in one go. I think overcasting this spell is a bit more efficient than regular cast. Per Winds of Magic. Good. Yeah, deletes a full unit. Nice. I won't be able to get another one of those. In fact, that's the end of my magic. What is your hope for the next Total War game? I just hope it's good. So the next Total War game is either 40k or World War One, from what I've heard, unless plans change, which they might. Um, I'm fine with either of those settings. I just want it to be good, and I hope it's successful for CA. So do a good job. Delay it if you have to. Just make it good. I'm, I'm really... I don't want to see any more shit Total War games. I'm, I'm really sick of them. No more fucking Troys and Pharaohs. That's enough. World War One, you're not capping. From what I've been told, okay, I'll always say, got to do a disclaimer, I don't know it for a fact. Now, in the past, I have speculated, which has just been guessing. This is not so much of a guess as I've been told from inside sources that the next historical Total War game is World War One. Do I know it for a fact? No. Be all right on them. Just need to get that army losses. Shouldn't be too far off. They're just taking so much damage. All right. Forty k would get them so much money. It won't even matter if it's shit or not. Well, it does matter if it's shit, because if it's shit, they won't be able to make it a DLC pipeline the way that that the way that Warhammer was. Um, the play, if they if they don't have Warhammer 40k launch in at least a reasonably good state, then the DLC isn't going to sell well. And if the DLC isn't going to sell well, then they're not going to make as much money as they otherwise could have. Also, I've got a bit of updated information about the starting factions for Warhammer 40k. Again, take it with a pinch of salt. This is likely to, There we go, there's the This This information is likely to change. So apparently there's going to be a pre-order faction for, um, for 40k. Not entirely sure what it is. But the starting factions, from what I've been told now, are not actually Space Marines, Orcs, Chaos. It's instead Space Marines, Orcs, Eldari. So Chaos is not actually on the lineup from what I've heard. And that the pre-order faction may be the Astra Militarum from what I've heard. Pure spec. Not pure speculation. We'll see. We will see. Hey IDM. How's it going dude? Really am unsure because they get conflicting reports and when I get conflicting reports I have to question where how, how accurate that is but yeah it does make sense to have the Eldar in at the very beginning but that would also mean that chaos would be a DLC race again <laughs> which 
I don't know. I can imagine people going to be like, oh, you should be in a game to begin with, which, what are you going to do? You said Imperial Guard wrong. Yeah, Imperial Guard, the Astro Militarum, whatever. Forty K is a ton of games. A lot of them are shit Steam titles, so there is very dangerous possibility of Warhammer Forty K being crap. That is true. That is correct. Yeah. Well, that battle went very well. No damage whatsoever. It's tempting. It's a tier five settlement. It would cost us quite a lot to bring it back up. I'd say just accept the confederation. And there we go. We now have Festus. So what's that, five? Yeah, five of them. So Festus will be here in five turns. All right. My Lord Sinch agrees. Awesome, 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 awesome. Avert your eyes. Awesome. Um, let's have a look here. Well, we obviously don't need the growth building, so get rid of that. So this here provides leadership for Marauder Horsemen. Not an essential stat. We're missing the Chaos Sorcerer, so get rid of that as well. I'll keep that for now. And we'll see. Alright. Overall, good turn for us. Witness my beauty. Deliver your missive. I shouldn't have, t have captured Crudenvold in hindsight, I think. Alright, so I said with this army here, I was going to make it a Nurgle army. So we want to get rid of everything that's not going to be Nurgle infantry. You don't understand real power. Dominance. And we'll just... We'll, we'll, it'll take some time, but we'll figure it out. Um, we don't need to convert them... Oh, hang on, let me just check here. Can this guy... Okay, this guy can Nurgle right now. So we want him to go to devote to Nurgle. 3,000. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, that means this should be converted to Nurgle. Good. And these should be converted to Nurgle. Cool. This should not be in here. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Uh, really helpful in that battle for sure, but keep scouting. Alright. It's kind of annoying that his best spells are, are kind of available when he's at his lowest level, and they're just constantly available, and then you get these here, and it makes your spells cheaper, but then you're not going to have your best spells available most of the time. Sometimes it's good to give him an active ability through an item that allows him to just change his lineup. So if we come down here into an arcane item and give him something like... Forbidden Rod, we only get three uses of that. Channeling, yeah, channeling stuff. No, he doesn't really need that. Um, Skull of Katam. Yeah, that's fine, because we can, no, we only get one use of that. Scepter of Stability. Yeah, we get multiple uses. Okay, use that. Skull of Aramar. Only one use of that. Rod of Torment. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, actually, maybe I should give that to you. No. No, 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 that's fine. Um, Kung Pao Chilo did a $5 dollars budget. Hey, Legend, love your content. Have you thought about playing the Masters of Strategy mod for Shogun 2? It reminds me of Divinated Imperial for Ram 2. I haven't thought about doing that, to be honest. I, I don't. I haven't downloaded a single mod for Shogun 2. Um, that sounds good, for sure. I don't know if I've got time for it, though. Thanks for the chat. All right, so... We just haven't done this one here, but we don't have any Zinch armies. And it would be good to keep the Nurgle Authority. Maybe we should get Rotting Altar. Uh, how's his Nurgle Authority at the moment? Cataclyst. Five. I bring despair. Hang on. I've only got two abilities. Might as well grab that. Artifacts to empower me. We'll go. 
Yeah, get guy around. That'll be useful. Actually, yep. And yeah, whatever. I'll just get them all eventually. It doesn't make any difference. All right, how strong is she? I wonder if Ostermark, sorry, Ostlin got wiped out rather than Confederated. Could be interesting to try to bring them back. I don't know. The Aesthetic Legion, we've met I them now. Oh, God. Chosen. Azazel can be revived, though. So if he gets wiped out, it's not the end of the world. We may want to go and save him while we can. And by save him, I mean, of course, confederate him. Although I can't just walk away from all of these situations here. So did we confirm if the plus three, sorry, plus authority is working as intended? It is working as intended now. It works. We've, we've confirmed. Valkyr the bloody. All right, you, Valkyr, Mistress go and occupy monolith of this. Yep. Don't give that to a vessel. Yeah, it's fine. Anything here for us? Nope. Maybe I should start recruiting a Zinch focused army. Well, that being said, I have get my Nurgle one together. That's going to take a bit. Carnets awakened. I doubt they'll be coming back. They always get confederated. Scaling's probably got confederated. And they don't come back anyway, unless we cause a revolt. But yeah, you can capture Pack Ice Bay, that's fine, because I can't make use of the iron there anyway. There's some good stuff in the middle of Norska. Alright, let's see what other armies we have moving around. Okay, we can launch an attack on... No, I can't reach there this turn. Frazzling fiends! Now they will see true power. Nagarond. This will fail. So there's no. 15 units in there. My visions predict failure. Plus a full stack. Let's try to lure it out. So, Bellacor, you stand here. Go into channeling stance. You go into ambush stance. Luckily, Harganeth turn comes after them, so it's possible they'll pull us out of ambush stance, but not until they've had their turn. We agree. You go into ambush stance as well, and you go into ambush stance as well. See if they'll take the bait. Harbinger of the flux. A little bit closer. feet, we move. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to launch the attack there next turn. We'll see if we can draw them out. So we're trying to protect Haraganeth by keeping onto one of these armies. That way, if they lose this, I can give this back to them so they're not wiped out. I'm such a good overlord, aren't I? Uh, how would you fix the Dark Elves? Um, I don't know. I just find them boring. I don't think they're broken. I just think that they're boring. I'll borrow that. Got to go and save village before he gets wiped out. All right. So what we want to do is probably give this one over to the Dolgan, capture Volary for ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I think we should put some defenses. Here, just in case. You need a boom. Cool, we got this. Do we? Oh wait, there's a big army in there. Move. Mm. However, Not we are trolls, God. and do you do know that trolls are fucking strong? <laughs> I'm sure it'll say order resolves not in our favor. Oh shit! What the f fuck, monkeys? Holy crap! Okay, yeah, I'll take that. I thought I was gonna have to fight that manually. 
when something like that happens, I gotta check the battle difficulty. I de definitely didn't adjust it. I never do. I gotta wonder. What, what, what's going on with that? Yeah, no. No. Just. Maybe it's like, yeah, you got trolls. We can't beat that. Damn. Well, good. All right. That's not very useful. Man, and it costs a lot of money as well. It does give us a bit of local warband unit capacity. Not really worth much. Um, we want money. Actually, go with that one there. Yep. Obsidian's good because that gives us missile strength for Marauder Horsemen and Masters, which I want to make an army of them eventually. Yep, and... Yep, that for extra income. Cool. Eh, I got money. Go with that. Cool, and we've got some more armor. Maybe the armor from the armor trolls helped in order resolve. I've only got one more troll left that needs to be upgraded. So if we have a look, yeah, he is totally wrecked. He's just not able to recover. Cool, so Varg Camp, I should be able to sell that to them, because it's in the same province. I still want to, uh, like, vassalize uh, Wolfric, but I've got to get him down to one settlement first. Alright, I think that's all I can do. That was a very profitable turn. Slaughter the sheep. The crow Alright, so... So, so, so... Archeon. Archeon's in pretty damn good shape. Why don't we do one of the quest battles? Well, here we go. Oh, so close to that. Yeah, why don't we do one of the easy quest battles? Because the armies that are in front of us, I don't think are that big of a concern. Uh, Kung Pao Chilo did a $10 submission. Hey, Legend, any chance for a Uvest stream soon? I struggle to play that campaign aggressively since we moved from IE to Wemma 2. Yeah, I'll consider doing that. I think that's on my to-do list, for sure. Thanks for Super Chat. Why don't you get the Sorcerer building? Is that not one of the best money? Uh, I, I thought I did get the Sorcerer building, in most cases. You have to be specific where I didn't get it. Um, Basti09, oh, sorry, 019, subscribe with Prime. They've subscribed for two months, currently on a one-month streak. Thanks, dude, appreciate that. But you're right, the, the Sorcerer building is good. Alright, what do we need here? Um, let me just... For the battle that's coming. Alright, let's see. Which one should we do? Firstly, check to see which is first. Well, which one's going to be the best for him? So, Slayer of Kings. Gives us Corn Authority. And Undivided Authority. Which I'm pretty sure already at 10. This will give us all authority plus one faction wide, so that'll be good. Once we got everything that is, um, what's going to be the most useful? The armor of Morka for ward save. Or what about the eye of Shirian? Yeah, the eye of Shirian. That's a good one. All right, eye of Shirian. It is. Let's do that. I'm trying to remember what this battle was. Yeah, we should be fine. Let's do it. Which faction you reckon has the worst starting capital with either the worst unique buildings or not at all, or just having many building slots? Just not having many building slots. The worst starting capital. Probably Boris. Boris Ursus. Pretty bad start position. At last, a worthy challenger comes. Not some weak minion sent by the gods. No, what confronts me 
is something more corrupt, more bestial. It serves no master, seeks no glory other than its own. And that I abhorred, even as I rip at its throats. For it must die! No man, no god, no creature can challenge me and live! Uh, simply Arayan. Today, twenty dollars super chat. Nice to see you live, even if only having stumbled across the stream by pure chance. Thanks, to YouTube. I was curious though, how well do tearless videos do on your channel? Would would enjoy a strongest, hardest AI faction list. Um, I've already done that video. I think I, like a uh, most difficult AI faction. I, I've definitely done done that before. Um, tier lists do marginally better than the average. Disaster battle. Marginally better. If I don't attach a sponsorship to it, it's pretty much not worth it. Yeah, tier lists are long since their heyday. Okay, this Vanguard deployment is going to be pretty handy. Too bad Archeon doesn't have it. Kill his forces and the Dragon Lord shall surely appear. Okay. So, getting them to rank 7 gives them an additional 7 speed, which is definitely pretty good. Move faster. Chaos <laughs> can do some damage. Okay, you need to go fight that giant. Dragon Lord approaches. Kuhar Death Caller, okay. Kill him and his warriors will flee. After they've already fled, essentially. Move these guys back, have Archeon deal with this. Dragon is probably going to use a breath attack on us, so we want to be moving, so at least we try to dodge it. Definitely don't want to be in a big old fat blood. Easy one. Man, look at those stats on Archeon now. 
Yep, yeah, come on, take him out. Oh, he's trying to get away. Yeah, he's like, got his ass handed to him by Arco, and now he's like, oh, I don't want to fight Arco anymore. Alright, so what's going to happen with the rest of these forces? They're just going to run away instantly, or is it... What's, what's the deal? Do we win instantly, or do we still have to just win the battle? Kill the enemy lord to rout their forces. Kill the enemy lord. Apparently not. Fucking lies. Alright, I guess we just have to defeat the army outright. Okay, fair enough. Arcane has only two spells. I haven't gone down his magic line. I've focused on other things. Arcane doesn't have the best repertoire of spells. Repertoire? I don't know. Doesn't have the best set, set of spells. Like, I don't think Purple Son of Xerius would be very useful here. There we go. I thought Arcan had Burning Head. Yeah, he does have it. I just haven't got it yet. Burning Head, hardly essential. I get a Doomstack Shaggy. Can't really Doomstack Shaggoths in the War Host of the Apocalypse, because you can only get six. Another quest battle. Yeah, why not? Like, we fully recover from this. If I pick this, yeah, I, I can do another quest battle. Fully recovered. Okay, was, so that was... What, what was it? So that's instead of the Talisman of Preservation. So I lose some ward save, but gain barrier. And wins of magic cost. Uh, honestly, the Talisman of Preservation might be better just for right now, but it's fine. Yeah, look at that. We're fully recovered. We were a little bit damaged going into that battle as well. So yeah, we could go do another one. Alright, and we can get this guy a little bit stronger, which... Doesn't have that much in here anyway. Archaon can get a bit stronger as well. So, Woundmaker. Yeah, if we go Mentor, we can spread some of the experience into other lords. I don't think that's essential though. Deadly Onslaught. Because otherwise, we won't perfect him, I think. Because we've only got 12 more levels to go, and we've still got to go down the blue line and the magic line. Maybe get Kindle Flame. There's Burning Head. Okay, let's go get another one. Alright, let, firstly, let's just see which item will be most useful to us. Because we can do any of the quest battles, no problem. The Crown of Domination is the one latest in the thing. Uh, this is an enchanted item, I think. Not that good. Zach did a five pound super chat. 
Uh, would you prefer it if they let you choose from two laws of magic with a point to buy or something like that? Um, I don't know. Depends what the options are. Srini asks, is the trailer for Thrones of Decay tomorrow? I don't have inside information about that. I, I assume so, but I'm not the right person to ask about that. Maybe get Slayer of Kings, because I don't have a very good weapon. Let's get Slayer of Kings. Slayer of Kings. Let's do it. Which one's this? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, so we need to kill this guy as quickly as possible. That shouldn't be a problem. Alright, let's go. Go for the armor. Well, I went for the weapon. Um, have you heard anything about new Total War games being on new engines? I hear rumors. I hear rumors about new engines. But I don't know for sure. Let us show this weakling conjurer who would be loyalty what I do for months. Top tier you game, guys. Woo, <laughs> look at that camera angle. Good job, CA. Gotta love that camera angle. Top tier. Alright, you stay out of it. You don't Vanguard deploy. Okay. This is where cavalry is actually quite useful because we can kill the enemy really quickly. Need a banner of swiftness though. Reinforcements. No, no, you gotta actually kill him. Gotta kill him. Gotta kill him. Sorcerer's defeated. Cool, we've inflicted the army losses, we just have to take out the unbreakable units. 
Show me blood. Chaos Knights. Cinch's many glory. This is actually proving to be really effective. Chaos Knights or Reichsguard? For Archeon, I don't think I would recruit Reichsguard. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, probably about the same sort of tier. I like that one cast. Where is a cheerleader? Go Archeon. Yeah, he just needs to gain one more experience and then he can join the ranks of them. But too slow, just ends up getting shot by hell cannons. Where should a new streamer stream this game? YouTube, Twitch, or even Kick? That is difficult to answer. Um, I would, if I was a new streamer, I would go with YouTube and Twitch, probably. As for kick, ugh, I don't see a big future in kick. Um, but then again, could be wrong. Because like I've I've done the whole go to a smaller um, streaming service. You just you just never know. Yeah, I'll get the replenishment. We can go fight another quest battle. Why not Zinch Knights? Um, because our authority is firmly in undivided. Here's the thing. At any time, I can switch them to Zinch Knights. At any time. If I wanted to. So, Chaos Knights of Zinch, Chaos Knights of Zinch Lancers. Yeah, we can switch them at any time over to Zinch. They would be more expensive. With the exact same stats apart from Barrier. If we went to Slanesh, right, we gain speed, which is pretty damn important. And we would also gain physical resistance. So, pers and also uh, Devastating Flanker. Personally, I feel like Slanesh would be the way to go. However, however, let me have a look here. Yeah, no, he boosts it for all of those units. Hmm. Yeah, Slanesh would be the best way to go. If I was to get that authority up to 10, that would that would probably be what I would consider. Alright, we'll, we can do another quest battle because we're just not taking damage. I'll have this world. Yeah, put one point to Burning Head, go to Evasion. I've only, got, I've only got 10 more points left, so let's plan this out a little bit. We definitely want to get Arcane Conduit, or Archaeon Conduit. So one, two, three, four, five. Shit. Then one, two, three, four. Fuck, I can't get both. Because, yeah, getting Chaos Unchained would be good for the, just a little bit of extra campaign movement range. Hardly essential, and also income from post-battle loot. Solves game from battles, is good. But it requires me to get a whole bunch of shit that isn't important. Bit of replenishment there. Lightning Strike is not the worst thing when using a cavalry spam army. But, yeah, we cannot get everything. Unless I had decided not to go down the melee line so much, which is okay, and of course we're going to get that stuff. So, yeah... Hmm. Give up on the magic line then. We we'll definitely want an evasion. That's good. So if I go down this line with the, the 10 points I've got remaining. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine. I can get here in nine levels up. I could then get Deadly Onslaught or Magical Reserves. Probably Magical Reserves would be better. Alright, well, let's go do another quest battle. So now let's do the Armor of Morkar so we can get the... What do we currently got equipped? So Armor of Fortune gives us 10% physical. If we get the Armor of Morkar, this gives us 10% ward save plus melee defense plus the Armor of Morkar ability, which will give us more melee defense. Bit more armor, not that important. Undivided authority, we're already at max. Yeah, it's it's a little bit better than what we're currently wearing. But it's more about getting that set bonus sorted. Alright, let's get the armor of Morkar. I don't see a problem here. Make the magic line for a sorcerer. I'm not putting a sorcerer in his army. Have any of your vassals given you trouble so far? Nope, they've all been very well behaved. Very well behaved. I know for a fact that Henry Cavill is watching your content. Do you? Hey, Henry. Big this fan. You know it for a fact, I do you? I doubt it. Here is a maggot to make an example of. It will be a warning to all the chieftains of the north. Now, my followers, let us attend this tiresomeness. By dusk, I wish to be swilling the maggot's blood in his upturned skull, while channeling his rabid spirit into Morka's armor. Hmm. It's a bit grim, Archeon. Even Super Chats? That's not the real Henry Cavill, though. Come on, let's be real. It's not the real Henry Cavill. Oh, good. I can actually get to their rear here. Some maps allow you to do this. There we go. Nice. <laughs> they they could see us coming. Look at how they set up. And now the Slayer of Kings will allow us to kill single entities really quickly. Oh look, now we've got Burning Head. Yay! Nice blob. If I bomb you. Some shit blobbing dumbassery that I'm seeing here. What? These are no experienced Chaos Knights going up against our heavily experienced. Ours will easily win. Well, that is a... that is a blob. That is very blobbity blob. 
more coming. Too much blob there. Let's pull that back. And this is why the extra melee defense was really useful for these guys. Use isn't through here. Need someone to charge into the rear because we're close to causing a rout. Oh, they sent someone over here to fight. Hey, these guys are supposed to just watch. You're being mean. They got a while to go before they level up. Being blobbed like this isn't too bad because we've got some area effect bonuses we can pop down. Should have popped up there. Alright, we're probably not going to replenish to full after this fight. Just in time for another Slayer of Kings, nice. I think that's the army losses. No. Wait. No, not yet. Close, I think. This guy's getting some good experience actually doing some fighting this time. If you change them to Zinch, do they keep the experience? Yes, but I can't switch them back to Undivided afterwards. Right now, they're better off Undivided. And like I said before, if I was going to switch them to anything, it'll actually be to Slanesh. Slanesh is better. Physical resistance, extra speed, and devastating flanker. What else could you want? I get that barrier is highly sought after, but... That physical resistance is just as good as the barrier, in most cases. The winds are also mine to command. Kill, maim, burn. Name your demand. Yep, there we go. I lost them. All right. I don't think we're going to just instantly recover from that one. Too much damage done. Yeah. What about corn? Corn's, corn's okay. Look, they're all good. They're all good. Um, I probably wouldn't go Nurgle when when going for cavalry because it slows him. Wait, does it slow him down? I'm not sure. Yeah, if you go corn, you can go one step above, can't you? You can turn them into, like, skull crushers. 
Doom Knights aren't better? No. Doom Knights are definitely not better. Mm -mm. You lose a lot of entities, and they're not necessarily better in most situations. I've used a Doom Knight Doom Stack before. Not easy to use. Alright. Ooh. I'll take the replenishment. Maybe I will do that other quest battle. Get the whole set in one go. So the last one is the Crown of Domination. I still got the Earthing Rod. That is such a pile of crap. I should really switch that. There's the Rod of Torment. Yeah, grab that. That's slightly better. Scroll of Arama is shit. I'm going to fuse that. That's pretty good. Put that maybe on you. Uh, Glittering Scales is pretty good as well. He doesn't usually take much damage, so save for something else. So yeah, big question here. Magic Line or Blue Line? Like, rushing towards Arcane Conduit is not essential. So, Purple Sun of Zarius. Honestly, the spell Searing Doom is pretty good for us. Lightning Strike and getting Chaos Unchained would probably be better. I'm going to do that. Alright, one more quest battle to do. The Grand... Wait, isn't there another one to do? The Mightiest Fortress. Tale of Truth. Oh... This is for Eckhold. Maintain a total of eight units. Oh, I've, I've been neglecting this. We'll start working towards a Zinch army. It's literally the last one. We've got a Nurgle one, a Corn one, and, well, the Nurgle one's only just started. And a Slanesh one, and Undivided. Anyway. Alright, uh, Crown of Domination. This will give us a nice global bonus with the set bonus. Your recharge is kind of slow. Yeah, Forbidden Rod could be useful for that. But at the same time, I'm really not relying that much on magic. Entero Chosen of Zinch. One of these things. Alright, let's go. What total of games do you play in your spare time, if any? Or are you just burnt out from Total War in general? I'm a little bit burnt out from Total War, but the Total War game that I play the most in my spare time is, pro at the moment, probably Medieval 2. I've been playing some Stainless Steel 6.4. I do enjoy an early campaign, Byzantine campaign, on the hardest settings. Without... I don't like Big's Grim Realism. I don't like it at all. So it's really janky. Even as this demon spawn plots to overthrow me, I know my destiny is absolute. Bell Lacor? Bell Lacor? Spelling mistake! Bring your best. I will prove once more that I am the ever chosen. For I am the anointed, the bringer of life. Creative Assembly can't even spell Bell Lacor. You saw it here, folks. Bellacore has been misspelt for like eight years in Total War. What a disrespect to him. Can't even spell his name right. <laughs> you know what? What I might do in this battle is just send Archeon in. I'm just going to chill back here. I'm just going to send... Hang on. Defeat the Lord of Change. Yeah. Face your final challenge. Alright. None of these things here are a concern. I'm just going to go straight up here and fight this guy. See if we can get this guy to land. 
Archeons. <laughs> okay, I made very short work of this Lord of Change. Come on, we're not done with you yet. And do we just winch as soon as that happens? I doubt it. Alright, let's start fighting the battle now. Hang on. Just wait for them to come in a little bit because there's trees over here that we're not going to fight as well in there. Will I pick up a sword of cane? No, I don't think so. What for? in fighting Archeon. Oh, this guy's got experience. I can upgrade him now. When did that happen? this flank over here. This is where we'll fight. You can all this one for now. Stay over here a little bit. Crappy trolls here. Not that trolls are crap, but no experienced trolls after their general's been killed. Isn't gonna work for them. And let's charge on in over here. Bunch of trash. I'm just gonna bowl straight over. The sword of Kane is cool. No, it's not. No, it's not. I reject that. I think this was easier than the previous one. Chaos Knights. Don't have any good shots in there. Uh, Dragon Ogres I need to worry about. I'll do some damage. My gods call. Kill them all! Bring the skulls to Thorn's throne. Exalted hero of Die! 
Cool. That's all worked out very nicely. Yeah, all four of his items in a single turn. Nice. This has proven to be very strong. I'm glad I went with this. No, they are killing it, but it's there if they're impacted this tightly sometimes they just don't fight properly I Use the spirit leech to speed things up a bit Would Archeo and a bunch of Exalted Heroes be just as strong? It'd actually be stronger. The thing is, you don't have unlimited Exalted Heroes, and anyone can command Exalted Heroes just fine. He doesn't boost them at all, so you're best giving it to someone else. And now we can finally finish this army and upgrade this guy to Chaos Knight. Look at that, we get to full strength again. But this time, since I've got no more battles to do, it's fine if we just replenish the old-fashioned way. I'll take the money and souls. But yeah, we got them all. So that means the Crown of Everlasting Conquest that we got from the Confederation with uh, Sigvold, that can go somewhere else. So he's got all of them, plus the Rod of Torment. And that is giving us all authority, plus one, and diplomatic relations with evil factions. So all authority. That'll probably come into effect next turn. Yeah, probably. Okay, that's fine. Good. Mentor for you. And... No. Wasted point, what are you gonna do? And this guy here gets upgraded to Chaos Knight. Cool. So looking at corn, yeah, you could turn them into Skull Crushers. These are anti-large. They're significantly slower though. Because we've got 7 points into corn. We can probably get that up to 10. Skull crushers. Yeah, you, you could do that. For sure. I'm going to stick with this though. Because yeah, skull crushers are slower. And I, I much prefer having a much more speed. Which is why if I was going to go mono god, I'd go slanesh. Alright, are we finally done with the turn? Yep. Alright, we need to start working on a Zinch dude. So let's have a look somewhere where we can start recruiting some Chaos Warriors and actually get some... Okay, there's two Chaos Warriors here. We'll have this guy wander the Chaos Waste out here, creating a Zinch army. Alright, so we need a... Yeah, Metal Wizard. Third Eye of Zinch, that makes sense. Can I Zinch him up straight away? Not until rank 5. We'll get there soon. Okay. You'll need that. Wait, should I get serve or die first? Yeah, should probably just go serve or die? He's going to be wandering around for a little while. So he's going to go and... Just go around wandering, looking for Marauders and Chaos Warriors. To convert them to Zinch, so that we can get Eckhold. And then Eckhold will be... I guess he can be transferred into this army, maybe. Let's see. Zinch... Halberds? Yeah, Halberds. I kind of like Halberds better. Let's go full anti-large. I foresee destruction. 
Yeah, there's some more Chaos Warriors over here. Yeah, just go for a bit of a wander. And we should trigger the... Okay, and, that, and also, maybe we should send this one all the way back here. Maybe they'll meet each other out here. And attach him to the army. Maybe. Echo at Hellbrass would be good for that knight army. He wouldn't be able to keep up with them. Alright, we can get a Nurgle gift. Growth per region after winning a battle. That's good, but we've already got salt, so I don't really need it. Um, enables replenishment in foreign territory. That's a good one. Don't need it right now, though. What are some other good stuff in here? Experience gained for Nurgle lords. What's this? Oh, no thanks. Um, missile resistance for all units with the mark of Nurgle is pretty good. And extra unit experience gain. Melee defense for armies led by Nurgle devoted characters. That could be good as well. I might just hold off for the time being. Because I don't really have much invested into Nurgle at the moment. We're definitely going to invest more. But we can chill for now. Alright. Let's have a look. Let's do some upgrades. So that give us an extra 10%. Yeah, we gained so much money over this turn. Thanks to all the quest battles, which is great. Actually, I'm in desperate need for more of them. It would be good for more money. As you can see here, I'm already spending it all. Good. Yeah, okay. Good. So how many settlements do we have? Turn 60 with 28 settlements. Alright. Yes. I think that's everything done. Alright, we got another technology to do. We're at 410 research rate. Herald of Doom only takes one turn. Most of the technology only takes one turn now. Nice. Hmm. Just trying to think what would be best for us. Let's go with corn corruption from this. Because I'm not really making use of either one of those at the moment. It only takes one turn, so it's not that big of a deal. There's no amazing technologies left. How's your research rate so high? Got a lot of students, and also you get an extra 10% research rate per vassalized faction. I've got a lot of vassals, so that all adds up. Alright, let's move on. Valkyrie the bloody. Yeah, that's all looking good. All right, this guy here needs to switch to Zinch because he's currently. If we have a look here. Oh, we're already at ten, but he's lowering our um our stuff with corn. But like I said, it's already at ten. Carnets awakened. If we convert him to Zinch, I would want him to go to metal. Yeah, we got enough for it. Do it. Comes Infernal close. Dominance. Winds of Magic cost for Lore of Metal spells. That's good. Uh, those, are, those are okay. Whatever. I'll get him back in there next turn. And the thing is now, instead of lowering Corn uh, Authority, he'll lower Nurgle, which is fine. Okay. Stick some of that in there. 
pet woman. Okay. Let's move on. Can Valkyrie command blood crushes? Um, yeah, you could do that. If you want. No Zinch Exalted Champs in the stack? No, I don't really I don't really like um anything other than Nurgle for Exalted Heroes. Alright, they're backing off from Nagaron. Not that they would have been able to reinforce anyway. If I can manage to capture that settlement, I'm gonna give it to Hellebron. Wouldn't Village be good for the army? He's a spellcaster, so you don't need the scribes. Yep, sure. But I've got to get Village. We're on our way to go and do that. It's just going to take some time. Okay, this is good. This is really good. That will allow me to take those other two settlements and then vassalize Krudenwald. So I'm, I'm actually glad he did that. <laughs> Although, what might end up happening here at the moment is... Hockland might confederate with Reichland any moment from now. Kerlek has just been real passive. No. So there's only one character left that has to be confederated. That can't be saved if he gets wiped out. That's Village. The other two have been saved. That being um, Sigvold and... That wasn't mine. Um, Sigvold and... Festus, they've been saved. Oh, I see what's happening here. He's using his unholy manifestations. <laughs> Village steals everyone's experience. He is a hoe. I'll be fine. It'll be fine. I believe he stops doing that once he's at max experience, though. Once he's, like, maxed out. Grayling Moot. I need to get to alter the Crimson Harvest before they get there. I, I can't let these guys take it. Yes. Very well, I move. Okay, I think we can justify force marching. Because I don't think that that one is going to do anything. This guy's not ready to go out on his own. No, oh, maybe he is. Okay. The thing is, these haven't got all the technology upgrades yet. You can see here, they're not perfect. I don't have any alliances with corn factions, so just go with that. Oh, wait, no. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. There's no army of the Doom Keep, so you'll be fine. You'll make your way. Aww. How strong are these guys? Okay. Well, pick up this one, definitely. And Valkyrie needs to make her way down here. I'll have to force march if I want to get there quickly. My broad is all. That is a seriously heavy duty force. We should keep our forces together, Your just in case bleed. they decide to attack us. Yes, it is so. Together, we can beat them. Separated, no. Fucking bloody. Uh, what's it called? Um, rogue armies. Okay. So this one here, there's a lot of Nurgle corruption, so we'll be able to pick up Nurgle units fairly regularly. But it is going down. Who are these 
these grotesqueries. Sigvald's army is still not ready for anything other than um, basic crap. You start heading over this way. Let's meet up with that other guy over here, who is going to go just around the place looking for Zinchi stuff. Alright, I think we need one more unit. No, we need three more Chaos Warriors. So, next stop, the Writhing Fortress will have... There's three Chaos Warriors there, so that'll that'll get us what we need for Echold. Cool. And then, yeah, maybe I'll... No, I want to bring him up against... Do I want to bring him up against them? They're an anti-infantry faction. I don't know. All right, time to declare war on... Oh, I mean, I'm already at war with Herald or Tempest. Let us corrupt. Now's a good time to attack him because he's weak. I guess Village is keeping him at bay. We need to hurry up and get over to Village before he gets wiped out. Because over time, the, uh, the Chaos Dwarves will beat him. That's good money. I'll take that. Yeah, Festus is alive. Look. We got him. We just confederated him. Last turn. Enter then. Are you after a drink? A fist fight? Or both? Hang on. How about you swap the settlement for... Blizzard Peak. How does that sound? They do not want to give up that settlement, do they? I can borrow this army again, but he's probably going to get wrecked by Kolak. These guys have got a settlement that I want, but they built loads of military stuff here. They won't give it back. Oh well, I'm just going to have to, um, that's not who I want to speak to. Dolgan, Dolgan. That one? I'll just give it to him because I just don't want to have Are that settlement. So that is called Granite Spikes. Both. Hold off on the trade agreement because we're not going to make a ton of money off that. I'm already I selling see. off all my goods. But obviously keep that. All good. All right. What are we going to do with Arkeo on this turn? We're nice at full strength. We're losing Winds of Magic, though, so we've got to get out of Middenland. If we go up to Salzenmund, it's fine. Need someone to defend Middenheim. This is not a good army for defending cities. Maybe, maybe this one would be a better choice. Melee infantry is pretty good for defending cities. I am the chosen of the gods. And Sigvald should be fine to go and fight them, as long as there's no Empire forces there. Which, I'm sending my scout away, so I'm not sure. This guy here could scout ahead. And could probably be converted to Slanesh now. Alright, so he's already Shadows. So we can either devote him to Slanesh or devote to Shadows. Honestly, I don't think the lore of Slanesh is that good, so I'll stick with Shadows. There is pleasure in power. That's pretty good. Yeah. Cool, yeah, he's got a fair bit of stuff here that's going to reduce his Winds of Magic cost. Good. I don't see him winning a battle against Slanesh anytime soon. Alright, just need to scout ahead a little bit. Alright, Siggy, you go down here. Yeah, you'll you'll capture Hergig and Talibheim, and then we'll confederate them. Not confederate, vassalize them. Alright, you. Who is 
You need to defend Middenheim until it's defensible, which will take a few turns. Forward unto slaughter. Don't worry about armor piercing when dealing with the Empire, they tend to not have that much armor. Yes, my ruinous power. Right, seems like the south there's not really much going on down there. That's really good. But let's go north and get to Salzamund and maybe just harass them that way. Could go over to Lower Lawn Forest. We could probably beat that. The gods direct me. That one's caught in Force March. This one here is going to reinforce. I'll probably be out of order to resolve it. Done deal. You think they'll leave it to Thursday to reveal Thrones of Decay? I have no idea, mate. No idea. I think they'll reveal some stuff tomorrow. Good. If you have a look at the Empire. Do not test my patience, Northman. Okay, yeah, they don't have much. How's our defenses here at the moment? We'll definitely put in defensive building. Just need a build slot. Okay, we've got some defenses here. And this has been built, that's good. So these guys will come in and reinforce. That way this one can patrol the area. If any any armies actually you should really come outside the settlement. He's not good inside of it. There's no magic on this guy, it doesn't matter about wins of magic. Go into ambush tents and just see if we can catch anything coming up this way. Good. And you'll go over to Salzamund. Which that should be relatively easier. We're a bit damaged though, so we might have to fight it manually. All good. Alright, what's next? Yep, you're good. Wait, that's for... Yeah, that also improves um, Aspiring Champions. Good, another one here, take that. of glory why not get a corn wizard imagine if they introduce a lore of corn what does the chaos authority do this it just provides stat buffs like repl or like replenishment and reduced upkeep cost it's pretty good you, sh you should try to lean into it all right that army sucks and they don't have dark conduit so that's good Fangs and talons. I can only bring four armies for this. Bellacor should be the one to launch it. Obviously. Yeah, we always need more forces than that. Time to break them. It would be good if we could also get a... I might actually be able to get a peace treaty once I capture this. Especially if I could do it relatively bloodlessly on my side. So let's just see how we go. Dominance. Now they will see true power. Time to attack. Do Corn have his own lore of magic? No, no, no. Corn is very much against spellcasters. The fact that you can do it in, like, Valkyrie's faction is weird. Alright. Okay, you know what we should put on Bellacore? The Crown of Destroy. Everlasting Conquest. Oh, make them. So... Okay, so he goes Blade of Shadows. Armor of Destiny for him. Good. Talisman of Preservation for him. And an Enchanted Item. Good. Arcane Item... How would you like a... Like, that'll give us more magic, but also hurt him, so... Yeah, he doesn't have any barrier. I don't think we need to pick up on more units. And I don't think it's going to give us better order resolve here, either. I think I just have to fight this manually. 
Oh yeah, also, I don't think the AI put any points into his magic. Yeah, they barely put anything in here. Fan fucking tastic. Oh well, do what we can. Would you send Festus to help Bellicor? I'm not sure. I definitely want Fest. What I want in Festus's army is giants. So I'm gonna recruit him somewhere where there's some giants to recruit, which may actually be nowhere. Do you expect some decay in Thrones of Reveal tomorrow? <laughs> It will me to you have to wait a full turn for items to be equipped. That's correct, yeah. I like this better. Giants are usually available in mountain regions. Yep, and we just don't have that many of them. That's the problem. The Chaos Wastes are not considered mountainous regions, so I don't think there's there's uh, mountains out that way. He has Penumbral Pendulum. Okay, yeah, but they're not going to just set up in a line for us. It's also the least cheesable siege map. Just wait for reinforcements. And send Bellicor in early, because he can regenerate and just mess them around a whole bunch. Yeah, he does have Penumbral Pendulum. So we've got 26% ward save, 25% physical resistance. Alright, yeah, we're, we're pretty resilient to what they're... Oh, yeah. Got lots of health. I wonder if he's got the bloody trait. Because that seems a bit more than normal. Yes! Wish we had Pit of Shades. I fly. I seek. Get them. I am yes. What's this? Oh, they're using their army abilities. Yeah, well. If we want to assault from here, but I have to take out both of these towers. Just keep casting Penumbral Pendulum, just soften up the defenses as much as possible, especially the Dark Shards. Alright, he, he's blocking a lot of the damage, but not all of it. It's not possible to block all of it. This needs to be reorganized. That is a mess. So, not too many kills, but lots of damage done so far with Bellicorp. Keep it up. I think he's got the bloody trait, because I think he would normally have about 10,000 health. That seems a bit high. Oh, 
Okay, we're organized now. Okay, then we just gotta come up with a good plan of attack. Which I'm still trying to think of how we're gonna do that. But we've got time. I mean, there's no there's no rush in the siege. We've got plenty of magic still to spend, and Bellacor is softening up the defenders quite considerably. Just watch out about getting shot that much. At least they're hitting their own units a fair bit. Into shadow. Get them through shadow. Move. This serves. I seek. At once. Come then. Through shadow. Get them. Swiftly. I seek. Rend. See if we can hit along that line a little bit. And then bounce right into the shades. Very nice. Alright, Marauders, since you matter the least... You're going up the walls here. Actually, no, these guys here matter the least, because they're not even my units. They belong to the Demon Prince. Who cares if they get killed? Bellicor needs to distract these units as much as possible to give these guys a bit of a chance. Have the... Yeah, have these ones try to break through the gate. These ones will go around this way, go break that gate. They'll go around this way, go break those... Uh, actually... No, you just chill back over here. Heroes, bring them in. Into shadow. If you fly up and kill these guys, how much damage have they done? Not that much, actually. We can't get them. Yes! Shadow magic! You will run through shadow. Get them. Of course. Charge shape wings. Norska's full of giants usually? Okay, well I've only just started conquering Norska, so we'll have a look around there. Still got a few turns before. Festus comes. So we got time to have a look. Alright, so Chaos Warriors of Corn Halberds, they can go up on the walls first. And the. Uh, forsaking because I usually don't like to keep them. Good. Bellacor did a good job softening these guys up. Yeah, really good job. Sorcerer of Chaos. Your 
Mm-hmm. Taking time to get through that. Man, Bellicor's really bloody strong. To be able to take on this many units and tank this much and just shrug it all off. I mean, I gave him some really good equipment, but still. He's doing really well. Come on. How many times are I going to tell you? Up on the rules. Advantageous. Okay, they're bringing units over here. Bring them back. That's all I really want to do, just get them to um, reposition their units. You can round over this way. Crown of Everlasting Conquest, such a good item. Regen without flame resist, uh, flame weakness. You need to focus on the missile units. Fine. None of these units here are particularly important. Good, the gates are destroyed. Let's bring the monsters back and send in these guys through the gate. Time to start sending marauders up the walls, I think. I am all gold. I should have done over here actually. That's the last of my magic as well. Don't care if these units here get wiped out, they don't belong to me anyway. As I've said. Chaps went into ladders. What What do you mean by chaps went into ladders? I told these guys to go up the walls. Oh, are you, oh you're right. These guys. Yeah, they went up the ladders. <laughs> this one went through, but the other one went up the walls. It's annoying. It's annoying they haven't fixed that yet. Alright, I don't have enough magic for anything other than that. Good to see these uh, Dread Spears falling off the walls. Because of the aspiring champions, they actually knocked them down. Great 
done. Okay, Bellacor's just hit his regen cap there. After 556 skills. That means he's used up about 40% of his health, roughly. Of his total health. Yeah, you stay back there. I didn't just because I didn't care about you doesn't mean I'm gonna throw you away. I'll try to pull this one. Oh, too late. More guys up on the walls. So can't, I just can't put that many through the gate. Let's get these guys in there. They can handle a bit of fighting. Bloody dark shards. I knew they were going to be the biggest concern. Do we have reserves? Yeah, a few uh, shit reserves. Try to focus on the archers where we can. Alright, send the doggos back over here because they have left that undefended. And over here as well. We've now drawn the last of their defenders over this way. Try to get in that way. Can just chill there, that's fine. That's what the masters did. Faster! Call me Dark Master. Shadow Magic. Get off the battlefield so reinforcements can come in. <laughs> Bellicor's still doing well here. Just yeah, keep these dark shards busy. Of course. The shades over here that need to be dealt with, but he can only be in one place at a time. Okay, these monsters here are getting shot. Try to move a bit more over this way, where there's fewer units shooting at us. These guys here are starting to struggle a bit. Bring this one in. Okay, I need to take out these shades. They're just they're fucking wrecking us. Doesn't matter, there's the army losses. Good stuff. Alright, definitely better than what order was all yielded because it said we would lose. But we definitely took some damage. I don't think any units got wiped out though. Legend himself leaked Total War in the 40k, did he? Y yes and no. Yes and no. So, a lot of people have been talking about Total War in the 40k for, honestly, years. Um, loads of people have been talking about it. And to be honest, I haven't given you any proof. At all. Because I don't have any proof either. So, it's just hearsay. Is it really leaked if there's no proof? Like, I don't have a screenshot. I don't have any official documentation. All I have is rumors. I don't really feel like that's a leak. Legend made a Reddit post a few days ago, just listing all the stuff he's heard. I did not make a Reddit post. Somebody else made a Reddit post and posted all the stuff that I said. I don't post. I don't make Reddit posts. <laughs> Bellicor did a great thousand kills. Yeah, no units got wiped out. Oh, this is going to be worth it to sack. Should I raise it? It's a lot of souls. 
Uh, soul's not that big of a deal. Well, it's more important. Alright, now if we have a look. Yeah, he wants peace. Now, I want to point out, he declared war on me. Now, if I capture this settlement, occupy it, and hand it over to Hellebron, he'll probably no longer want peace. Also, I just recruited all these fucking armies to deal with him. We should punish him a little bit more. No, oh, not my fault. He made a stupid move. Yeah, none of this stuff here is valuable. Marble is really useful for us, but I, I don't think we can occupy this and, and have it. Flickering fire, frazzling fiends! Yeah, it's, it's still just one build slot. So we'll sell that over to them. Now you're the king of the Dark Elves. How about that? Go and make me money. <laughs> it was it was like a tier four settlement. Brought it down to tier one. No, he still wants peace. I kind of feel like we should punish him some more. Because we haven't lost any ground to him yet. Got a settlement up this way. Because, yeah, what am I going to just disband these guys? No. Uh, I think I think we'll punish him some more. Just stay together. Move. Punish Lord him some shadows. more. Uh, you can be handed back. Dominance. Never stop. Supreme sorceress yeah, bring this one in. Fell sorcery. God maker. I don't think we need any more troops. Yep, that's we'll find that. Oh yeah, we've got this guy coming in as reinforcements as well. Cool, bring him in. By the time he arrives, this is going to expire, but I should be able to borrow the army again fairly cheap. Because we... Oh yeah, look, we've already got... He's because we got a passive income of 11, so that's fine. Alright, next stop, Sandor Clegane. What are you doing? Yeah, you're on ambush chance. I think we're done with the turn. Let me just check. Yeah, we're done with the turn. Cool. I think that was a good turn for us. No further, no defeats and money. Lots of money came through. Hang on a second. Looking at this one here. Yeah, if we build this building here, it does provide local warband unit capacity of Chaos Giants. So eventually, we should have giants in all of our territories, all of our um, Chaos Fortresses, because I always build that. Just takes time. So the brass keep, that should eventually have a chaos giant there. Uh, this might be where the person said, why don't you have a um, sorcery building? That's because it wasn't available here when I just conquered it. He didn't build it. All right, I wasn't sure what he meant. At Legend Turtle oh, War, you weirdo. Ah, oh! ah, oh, you strike so hard. Oh my god, what a decisive True blow. Savages. Oh guys, I, I might have to quit YouTube now. I don't know if I can continue. Guy called me a weirdo. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Greetings, most I can't make these guys a vassal. Can't confederate them. I guess I, I could... I could be friends with them. Will that show me their... their, their shenanigans? Maybe, imagine if I could borrow one of his armies. Hmm. This be slaves. I mean, I have no idea where he is still. Sorcerer hmm. of excess. Hey Kaz, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. What a dad response to being called a weirdo. <laughs> well, come on. What do you expect? I am 
to Slanesh's scion. Blood as Uzda na Azaferg. World script dark. Yeah, nothing else I want to uh, like flesh. be friendly with. But the thing is, with the um, with the changeling, he actually is wiped out. His army's been destroyed, so being allied with him is going to prove to be pretty pointless. <laughs> yeah, because like if we go over here. We can't request any army because there's no eligible army. I can't set... There are no targets currently available for this option. Like, no... Oh, we've got no shared enemies. Yeah. It's going to be a bit weird. How are we going for this stuff here? So we're gaining 425 in tribute. Is there anything in here that I want to do? Another undivided slot, which I was going to save for this one, but we haven't got it ready yet. Um, what do we want? Portal Glyph for all undivided characters is not horrible. Experience gain undivided lords and heroes. I wouldn't bother with Tribute. I've already got that one active. I'll turn that off once I don't have any more Marauders. Because that's a bit pointless. Yeah, I mean, Portal Glyph's not great, but it's better than nothing. Let's go with that. Why not? Nothing else to do. Moving on. Will you peace out with Sun Eater? Uh, maybe. We'll see how we go, because it's just not really convenient for me to go down there at the moment. And finish him off. If he gets wiped out, I can revive him at Dragon's Death, which would be annoying, because I have to declare war on a vassal. What could you possibly offer me? Yeah, I'm just waiting for things to develop because I was also hoping that he would capture a settlement or at least destroy a settlement that I want from my vassal. Um, Atlas Jedi War, did you know that Hellebron is ugly because Marathi is giving her bad poison of Eternal because Hellebron is more beautiful than Marathi when she was young? Uh, uh, okay. Yes and no to that. I know that Marathi is definitely withholding the full secrets of Eternal Beauty, but Hellebron was never as good looking as Marathi. She was just a contender. That's it. Hey man, yeah, going to school now. Got addicted to Warhammer 3 recently. Just saw you playing as Chaos, so I thought, why not just have a little hop on? Yeah, no worries, dude. Good to see you though. Happy populace within Chaos. Interesting. We shall weave the fates. Yeah, I can borrow that army. Don't think I need to though. So looking at them, wow, they went peace straight away. Yeah, we've got to try to save Village so that I can confederate him by declaring war on him. If we have a look, we can see that still got Zinch Corruption here. He hasn't extended beyond then. He did have this area here at one point. Are you a god? Forward unto slaughter! Alright, we're at full strength, so we can just go into channeling stance and go into enemy territory. We can regenerate. Go, now. If they attack Let's us. About this. I think we're one tile away from the All settlement they can't. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we should be able to beat that. I should level them up though before we hit end turn. Not essential if I don't though, because all of the best stuff's already gotten. Already got it. Okay. Good. 
So mid and home, it's getting sorted over here. You got any? Nope. All right, you need to get. Can you force march? Yeah, you force march to mid and home. You can lose magic. That's okay. Pick up some of this shit. Slanesh's scion. So yeah, I want both of these settlements here because wood and furs is both actually furs. Furs not that big of a deal, but woods are good for us. Not sure if I'm going to be able to auto resolve this without massive casualties. Oh, right, let's have a look. Yeah, I figured as much. I have to fight it manually. Shouldn't take too long. Is this a no loss campaign? So far, so it, it is. Why Archeon is ever chosen, I didn't vote for him. <laughs> yeah. What would I give Shogun 2 on a scale from 1 to 10? Well, I tend to give really bad 1 to 10 ratings, uh, so I'm going to go 8.5. <laughs> no, um, I'd probably give it an 8. It's pretty good. Yeah, we got this now. Nice. Alright, shouldn't take us too long to get the win here. They're not putting their... Oh, yeah, I forgot about them. They're not putting their units in vulnerable positions on the walls. Good, Archeon healed his barrier. You just chill. You're here to heal him. Okay, so I've been turned to decay info tomorrow. Yeah, I think it will be, but we'll see. Probably the trailer. It'd be interesting if they put a reference to it being delayed in the trailer. That'd be funny. If they, like, actually get him with the joke. That's unlikely, though. Daddy's picking on me. Dead, and here's our last heal. Cool. Archeon's back to full strength.
Yeah, they can't even get through his barrier. Which is not good for them. Hey, good. This took out the entire unit of archers there. Good stuff. You can, I think, use this to destroy barricades as well. Yep, yeah, it does work. That's nice. Is it even possible to lose a campaign as Chaos anymore? They just feel so strong whenever I play them. Sure, I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, absolutely you can lose a campaign. Like, if you're really experienced at this game in general, like me, um, is it even possible for me to lose a campaign? I don't know. Maybe. Does it matter? The most important thing with this game is that you're having fun. If you're having fun, who cares if you can't lose the campaign? It just means you're good at it. I like that you can buy the individual parts. Yeah, I think that's going to be a bit more consumer friendly for people that don't play every part of the uh, campaign. So I'm definitely in favor of that. I just hope, again, I just hope that the price matches the content, or the content matches the price. Because calling something like, oh look, it's $8 or $9 or $10 or $25 or whatever, that's all great, but we have no idea what's actually coming. We've got a few ideas. I haven't pulled one of these off in a while. I gotta try to keep that one. If I can get over there before they cap it, that would be good. Do you think the commitment to pumping out five units per faction risk homogenizing the fa each faction? I don't know. I, I don't really like doing the whole content counting for units. I, I don't care about that. Like honestly, if the packs, if the, like the DLC came out and it had no additional units, I'm probably fine with that. I'm more interested in legendary lords, legendary heroes, new lords, new heroes, that kind of stuff. I feel like that's what's going to add gameplay. As for new units, most of the time, the new units added are things that are completely forgettable. It's usually only one or two units in each pack that I ever really bother getting. Like, let's just look in the Shadows of Change stuff, right? Um, looking at... let's see. Let's use an example. Let's go to Kislev. So, I definitely recruit Kislevite Warriors. Um, I definitely recruit... The... you know, Kislev unit pack is actually pretty good. What was the other unit that they get? They get the things in the wood. And... Incarnate Elemental Beast. I'm not that big of a fan of the the things in the wood. I know some people like them. What other units did they get? I'm not sure. I think there's one additional one, but I just can't remember what it is. Oh yeah, Frost Worms. Who fucking cares if that was added or not? Frostworms are shit. I said action at ambushes. You take Zinch as an example. Cockatrices are alright. Bestigors, no, Bestigors, um, what are they called? Zangors for Zinch, pointless. 
<laughs> just about pointless. Good for beastmen, pointless for um, Zinch, really. They already had plenty of melee infantry options. Didn't really didn't really serve much purpose, in my opinion. Um, the Mutilith Vortex Beast, their new best unit for sure. Yeah, I don't know. Change bringers. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but yeah, you, you could argue with them. All right, I am going to occupy. All right. Does the Empire want peace? The no. Celestial College. We definitely didn't knock him down a peg at all because he had 12 regions when we first started. Hang on. I think we're getting intel over here from What's the Changeling. The He's showing us essentially where his undercities are. Well, that's nice. We called Simpleton. Okay. Cool. Decay brings life. Yeah, because it's difficult to defend these settlements. Is there anything here? No. Man, Drakas made her all the way over here. How are things going with him? He's only got one settlement. He's sort of damaged. Hmm. I think I need to send Archeon to go and capture this quickly before he's wrecked. Okay, at least he's not at war with that anymore. Okay, so we've got this over here to do. Sorcerer. Let's have a little bit of a look. Okay, go besiege. Yeah, ignore resolve this. We'll put the wizard into the army so it gets experience. Beastmen can now recruit elements of beasts as well. Yeah. I feel like the Beastmen got quite a, a good amount of benefit from the latest DLC, and we'll probably get some from Thrones of Decay as well. They'll probably be Pestigors, and some other beast of Nurgle, maybe Bile Trolls that they'll be able to recruit. There's a fair bit of damage. Anyone from India? Yeah, we usually have a couple of people from India watching. We're, we're a, um, a very tolerant, multi, multi-cultural community here. All, all cultures are welcome, as long as you keep your culture to yourself. <laughs> So yeah, we've got a contender over here for an upgrade. Just needs to get one more experience. Spread ruin on them. Yes, my ruinous powers. Yeah, he'll be able to go and capture a crude vault. He'll do the. My favor. He'll do that. Play. You just stay put. Okay. Yep, so Gregor. You need to take Varg camp, I think. Yep, stop them from recruiting a new army. So, this army, yeah, we can't bring back the Varg, they've been confederated. Mm, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough movement, so just occupy it. This is a pointless settlement for us to hold, so I'll try to sell it to the Vanna homelings. Maybe next turn though, but let's just see if I can. Entry Should be able to. Are you after yep, a drink? good. Do it next turn. Good, good, good. Alright, next stop for you. Up to the Doom Keep. If I'm gonna take on the Hung Warband, I really need to destroy them in a single turn. Marauders 
all. Because otherwise they just they pump out new armies so easily. At least take out the primary one. Nothing good here. This is why. Valkyrie the bloody. All right, we take Altar of the Crimson Harvest next turn. They're about to take Pack Ice Bay. That's fine. They can have that. How many settlements does he have left? Seven. Need to keep track of them. So one, two. Oh, she's got some all over the place. Yeah, actually, it would be good if we conf if we vassalize him in the Empire, and that way we can use him to feed territory this way. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right. That could be where we finally vassalize him. That is, unless the Empire gets to him first, which we don't want that to happen. If the Empire goes and captures the Black Pit first, I'm fine with that. Like, if they capture it now, I'm fine with that. Okay. That all seems good. Alright, who else needs to move? Alright, we got our crap blob over here. Despoiled. Yep, he wants peace even more. Would like to vassalize him. Yeah. I don't know, I just didn't really want to focus out this way very much. Alright, go into channeling stance. Just make our way up here. I don't think we need to replenish too much. You need a boon? Yes! Supreme Sorceress of Grant! Searching! Okay, that all looks good. Yes! So he just needs to get over here, and then that'll get us the last of the Chaos Warriors that we need. Good. You know what? Let's give... No, actually, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, the Howling Citadel. Okay, we got heaps of money this turn. We can, we can pretty much build anything that we want. The Challenge Stone. Yep. If we have a look at Kolek... We may share the same masters, but don't think I am your ally. Okay, here's my piece. Chosen Drusina. We shall weave the fates. All of this seems fine. Good. What cast legendary lord do you have? Do you now have? Do you, do I not have? Do you mean? Um, I'm missing three: Azazel, Village, and Kolek Sanida. That's expensive. I thought I'd actually have enough money to build everything, but I guess not. Alright. All this stuff only takes one time. Okay, so we've got skulls for the skull throne. This will give us more corn authority, less slanesh authority. Passive ability Hellblade for aspiring champions and Chosen of Corn units. That's good. And hang on, does that also provide it? That's only for aspiring champions on that side. Still getting Hellblade for Chosen of Corn, that'd be good. I mean I've only got one Chosen of Corn at the moment, but that's still that's still Hellblade is not a bad ability. If we have a look at it, if they get 80 kills, then they get extra weapon strength. No downside to that. Okay, let's go with that. Get the corn stuff sorted. Blessed be the so we want to put in a defensive structure here. Yep. Next turn we vassalize 
Hockland and feed them the territory that we don't want to hold on to. Actually, I do have enough of that. Cool. Alright, is there any diplomacy to do? Probably not. Let's just check anyway. Nope. Marauders all. Enter then. Nope, not until you give me the challenge. A fist fight no, 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 no. Or um, both. Blizzard Peak. Until I get Blizzard Peak, no trade agreement with them. War unceasing. Gold Tooth wants trade. No, fuck that. I'd rather kill them. Flash bones. Lover. Yes. I could make a Zazel of Vassal, which would possibly pull him out of all of those wars. Like I said, a Zazel can be revived. Alright, moving on. When I went to Barrow Legion, in the last campaign, they smashed Marienburg and Empire and don't attack Bretonia at all. Um, don't know, I guess they adjusted the AI. But yeah, they've been wiped out in this campaign. Oh, they're gonna... Oh yeah, I forgot to level them up, but it's okay. Is it ever worth it to conquer Bretonia as Eltharian? You can potentially go after Ikit. Um, I, I wouldn't do it at the beginning of the campaign. You've got bigger th uh, fish to fry. But yeah, it's definitely worth it to eventually get Bretonia. It's rich territory. Even if it isn't green territory, it is good territory for sure. Good stuff in Bretonia. What's Archeon's favorite food? Corn on the cob. Okay, well, what's... Sigvold's favorite food. Spotted dick. <laughs> Which is actually also um, Festus's favorite food. <laughs> For different reasons. Until you give up that salty settlement. I'm salty, I can't get that salt. Okay, they've arrived over here, which allows us to get the Chaos Warriors. And we want to Zinchify them. Which should complete the objective, right? It has completed the objective, we just didn't get the notification. If we fight one battle, it'll usually, um, show it. We definitely did it. And <laughs> we got that for five more turns still. Okay, I'm a little bit worried I'm sending Sigvald to his, his death down this way. Because his army is just not quite ready to deal with anything serious. But if we have a look at the Empire, they don't have much military. So the chances that a full stack is, that's super strong is waiting there for us is pretty low. Definitely want to take on Katarin as well. Man, what's going on with you? Nine settlements. Looks like your army's got wrecked though. And Katarin is fairly strong. She'll probably declare war soon. No military presence here apparently. What do you want? 
Wait, going back to Ice Court. They are one people. At war with Kara Kedrin. Oh no, sorry. I'm talking about allied to it. Right. How does he feel about us now? Death. Oh wow, he really hates us. But hey, he's still our vassal. He won't trade with us though. Alright, send Slanesh, uh, Slanesh, uh, Sigvold into Telheim and get ready to finish the job here. Still no additional Chaos Warriors available from there. Yep, stack and occupy it. For Chaos! Destroy! Bring ruin! Good thing he's got so much replenishment. Oh, there we go. There's the quest successful. So the knight progresses towards the truth, which gives... I gotta win the battle to get him, okay? And then we finish off Hockland by vassalizing him this way. He should be able to order that. It's been a while since I've actually used him. Still very shit in order resolve. We don't have much going on, so it's fine. Subjugate them, and that's our first Imperial vassal there. Will Boris ever betray you? He might. A apparently not, though. Just People have said that uh, doesn't ever betray you. There we go. What comes A serpent. Look, as long as you obey me, I don't really care. There'll be a reckoning. Oh, that's right. This settlement's a bit weird. You actually can't land here. So armies will get stuck trying to get here. You have to land here. Tribesmen, gather. So I'll have to go sort that out. I'll send this one to do it. We're almost done with... Uh, with what's-his-face now. Okay, we need to give Varg Camp over to Van Heimlich. My fellow warlords converge. Do the Kurgan and Tong come south? It is done. Good. And then once we're done with Wolfric, we will turn our attention over to Throg. Hmm. All right. Yeah, we'll go to Dijeshafen. Then we need to go over to the Black Pit so that we can finalize the vassalization. Uh, Eclipse 212, becoming the member for 18 months. Uh, thanks for your thousands of hours of knowledge, bomb. Bombs. Uh, what's your take on the Old World campaign? It feels fresh and slow at the same time. Yeah, it's good. Definitely good, for sure. It is a good campaign. For sure. Alright, what are we doing with you? I guess you could go around Ruin Dwelling. Let's be about this. Yeah. Slanesh corruption there. Bring ruin. There's a few additional units up this way. Alright, why don't you go up here? Pick up some of this, to and then force march back. Good. I think these two here working together should be fine against most armies that they send up against us. They do have access to steam tanks now, I think. Someone with a steam tank. It may have been a, a, a elect account unit. State troops. Alright, Altar of the Crimson Harvest. Yep, have Valkyria do it because we need her units to gain the most experience. Because we're getting close to getting some Chaos Warriors of Corn there. Oh, well, hang, is that. Oh, that's got heaps of experience. Okay. Uh, you'll get. Yeah, just regular Chaos Warrior of Corn. I didn't even see that. Yes, my 
ruinous powers. Why don't you dedicate your Chaos Knights to gods? Uh, I prefer Undivided for Archeon. I've got plenty of dedications. Battle brings conquest. Destruction for all. All right, and this one, you got any? Yep, you do. Okay, cool. Got this Zinch Knight here. I don't know what I'm doing with it. A glorifying act. Because, yeah, that, the one's just going to sit out there and do nothing. Funny thing is, I, I do actually want to give it to it. Alright, if we have a look here... Yeah, it's getting there. Alright, next stop for you will be Longship Graveyard. You'll take Doomkeep easily enough, and then Nigel Farley Plains. With that one. And then that'll kick Wolfric out of Norska. At which point we need to make sure that we capture the Black Pit. And that's where we vassalize him, and we start giving some of this territory back to Wolfric. I might not even give any territory to... To Hawkland, I'll just leave them there. Who are these grotesqueries? There's a military presence here, eight units, so that means about sixteen. Either here or Camperbad. I don't have enough intel to really know. You might have to just wait in this area. Keep an eye on it. So this provides us with armor for Marauder infantry units, faction wide. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Cool. Alright, how about... How about you stay outside the settlement. You go into the settlement. That way you'll get more replenishment. Good. We also need to deal with this. That can't stay there. I don't think I want to vassalize them. Eh. Ah, well, I'll just do it. Whatever it goes. Uh, which chosen are your favorite type and what weapons do you give them? I don't think I've got a favorite. They're all good in their own ways. Maybe Nurgle. Just because they're super tanky and healthy. But they're slow. Alright, so we were going down the blue line here. Now the end times come. And we've got this battle here to do. That Please should be, I think, his up. only army. Yes. Oh, yes. Zatanna's trait's not really useful for our faction. Yeah, that should be his Destroy. only army. If you make core marauders dual axes, they'll get more kills on auto resolve and level up faster. Maybe, yeah. All right, I gotta do some leveling up here. Kill them all. Not so much on the wizards, mainly for the melee characters. And we also need to make sure we're on foot for this. So, no chariots, because they'll get friggin' shot to shit. On foot. The wizards can go on horseback, that's fine, as long as they're not on any chariots. So, you're... Wait, maybe we should go on Chaos Steed. Yeah, actually, let's go Chaos... Hang on, what's their anti-large like? Yeah, okay, I'll go anti... I'll go, I'll go horse. Just not on chariot. Chariot's very useful if there's no chance of you getting shot. Wait, what did I do? Yeah, go horseback. So that's a chariot. That's got to go horseback. Horseback, please. Everybody go horseback. Alright, everybody's horseback. That's good. Could go, um, Toxic Trooper. It reduces the enemy armor. Not really that important considering we've got armor piercing. I do like to have lots of healing. Could always respect them later down the trunk as well. Alright, we'll, we'll get one reducing their armor by a little bit. Because that'll also reduce auto resolves, making it easier for these guys. My prayers are answered. Good. Now we see. <laughs> yes. 
Alright, oh, this guy here needs some leveling. Let's do it. Okay. Alright, here we go. Do you find for Warriors of Chaos, it usually isn't worth bothering getting the demon units when the mortal units seem strong enough themselves? Yeah, pretty... Oh, look! It did actually give us an order resolve win. But that would kill off some of our characters, so I still need to fight it manually. Yeah, um, I like getting demons a lot when I'm playing as Bellacor, because I can have to make a full army of demons. Which is really good for using the blue scribes, because that's the main unit he benefits from. But as any other Warriors of Chaos faction, due to the limits on gifted units, I don't really like getting demons that much. Depends on the demon. So if it's like a super high tier demon, yes. If it's a low tier demon, don't bother. Are you going to consider getting some Chorf units through ally recruitment? Yeah, I'll consider that. We'll see. No, probably not with Zatan, because he's going to occupy all of the Dark Fortresses out here. However, in the Darklands, there's some major Chaos Dwarf settlements that are not Dark Fortresses. Alright, well... It would be in our best interest to try to cap the position if possible. Let's see how we're going to do this. So the towers are low tier. Oh, this guy's on foot. He's too low level. Um, just to stay there. If you can't keep up, don't worry about it. Because Chaos Dwarfs are fairly slow. Oh, nice. Nice, two full units fell to their deaths there. <laughs> Very nice. Bolt of change. I go. I control chaos. Oh, they will shoot at us. So desire. Moving fast. Okay, too much happening here. I'm not going to just be able to run through this. I need to get rid of the, that blunderbuss. Get back over here. Stay together. Shit, 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 shit. All the wizards are going to have trouble there. Especially our lord. Alright, we've actually got quite a few undivided characters, so we can pop these down as we see fit. Nice, bombing their own units. Ah, oh, you might as well come on in. Sorcerer Lord. Chaos is magic. I have must. Chaos Sorcerer to greatness. I wonder if this will destroy a hell cannon. No. Since his will, moving, moving fast. I go, go it. My mastery absolute. Take this, mortals. Why so many metal wizards? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
I just wanted single entities. I didn't really care about lower magic that much. Middle magic, I think, is the best. My magic is ready. Reality bends. Fight them out. Those portal glyphs have been really handy. Alright, let's see if we can make a run around now. Although we just wiped out a ton of their units. What made you choose Archeon campaign? I got a little wheel, like a like a like a wheel of fortune, and I just spin the wheel. Certain factions aren't on the wheel though. <laughs> There's no particular reason. Just felt like it. Let's just get these guys out of here. Bog down funny garbage. Just leave him there. This guy got stuck. Nobody gets left behind. Except for that little dude. Now I'm going to pull him out. Nope. Can't pull him out. He's just going to have to keep fighting. He should be fine. get you out of that. No, he just cannot get out. He's gonna wave, have to wait for him to rout. All the wizards stay behind here and hold on to this position. Yeah, you included. Should have actually done that the other way around, I think. Come on, I want you to live. This fucking guy's infernal guard. Yeah, just route, that way they let you go. Great idea. I'm gonna pop down a bazillion of these all at once. <laughs> it does not that is not efficient. You can just stay out here.
I end up army losing them anyway. I don't see any unbreakable units, they just have some units that are really high in morale. Oh, they do have an unbreakable unit, this one. Good stuff. Pretty minimal damage for this guy here. Nurgle and Vampire Counts are not on the wheel. Nurgle's not because I'm waiting for Throne to Decay. I, I, I was actually thinking about playing Kugath, but then I thought, let's just wait for Throne to Decay. Um, I'll tell you what's not on the, the wheel. Uh, Dark Elves are not on the wheel. Vampire... Uh, not all the Vampire Counts. So I'm willing to play Vlad again. Probably not Manfred. Norska's not on the wheel. I enjoy Norska, but nobody else enjoys it, so I'm not going to... It's a lot of money, but we want to keep this at high tier as possible. Because our buildings can be quite expensive, since we don't have that much marble yet. Good, we get it at tier 4. Very nice. Don't need the growth building. Grab this. Grab a... This and this and this. Yep. Mm, actually, grab. Yeah, no, that's fine. Because I need money. More money means more troops. Alright. That all worked out really nicely. And this guy got his horse. And he gained like four levels up on that. He got Stench Ridden and Chaos Commander. Uh, do we. How about you get Toxic Trooper? There you go. Good stuff. And we get a bit stronger. Good. Alright, Kolek is slowly making his way towards Blizzard Peak. This is what I was counting on. But I didn't want to stick around here for ages. So as soon as he blows up or occupies Blizzard Peak, I'll peace out with him. I really want to pull this army out and... Make sure this army is on its own. Because I want Kolek to succeed. Alright, I'm going to do that. Overrun the world. <laughs> I'm stopping this guy from yeah, getting any reinforcements. Doesn't look like Kolek can reach it. All I want to do with this army is just move it out of the way. Not that Kolek should have any trouble beating it. I just want to make sure. We got defenses at Challenge Stone. It makes more sense for him to attack this. But if he comes over to here, actually, let's let's recruit. Um, I'll bring this guy back around that way. We'll see. We'll see. All right. What else do we have to do this turn? So he's more willing for peace with every passing turn. That's good. But I just feel like I should just take his territory away from him. He's been a naughty boy. Couldn't just mind his own business. Go down south. Go go deal with the High Elves. No, he had to go and declare war on me, didn't he? Supreme Sorceress of Grand. Behold true power. You may think that. Get a little bit of money from sacking this. Are you a god? Unrestrained. Ever onward. Time. Right. Why not just force confederate Kolek? Uh, because I'm busy. All oh, right, that's actually a good question. Now I'm thinking about it. Okay, I'll explain why I'm not going after Kolek right now. Just hang on a sec. I'm just sort this out. My, oh my! Follow me now. Okay, so looking at this situation here.
Kolek can be revived if he gets wiped out. He had a heavily concentrated situation there with a lot of single entity smashes. Our army wasn't really that well suited for it. If Kolek gets wiped out, which is unlikely, he can be revived at this settlement here, Dragon's Death. It's annoying, but he can be revived. Village cannot be revived. If he dies, he is permanently gone. Now, these guys here had pushed him all the way back to their last settlement. So I decided to give up on this to go and save village. I can't split this army up into two. It just wouldn't be successful. I've got enough money that I could um, raise another army. That being said, this army here is on the way. So I'll send this one down here to assist. And this one has got all of our anti-large. It's just going to take us some time to get there. That's all. Which is why I didn't peace out with Kolek. It's just a matter of timing. I will give this over to Harganeth, just not just yet. Oh crap, man of money. Alright, I really do need the defenses the in this area here. A bit more urgently. Okay. I think we're done with the turn. So yeah, I will give Dietrich's half and back to Wolfric as soon as I vassalize him. In fact, it may even be in our best interest to just abandon this entirely. You dare. Nah, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. We'll manage. Okay, moving on. Oh, another commandment. It doesn't matter. Moving on. But yeah, I definitely want to confederate Kolek. That just it just wasn't really a great opportunity to do it at that moment in time. I gotta go and save village. Are ogres on the wheel? They are definitely, they haven't been on the wheel for a very long time. The ogres are not on the wheel. Okay, well that's where their forces are, that's good. As long as they're not focusing on me. You got 12k income, you can make three new armies. Yes, I can make three new trash armies of garbage, for sure. We're still working. Don't forget, we're doing recruiting every single turn. We're getting there. Also, you shouldn't ever have zero income. You should have some of your, your uh, income spent on construction. That sounds good. That will save us a lot of cash. Nagarond isn't a dark fortress. No, there's no more dark fortresses out that way, which is why I didn't want to go to war with him. Okay, they're getting some military presence up in there. Uh, Queef Headgiver. Last name. $5 super chat. Uh, do you know why CA won't let Games Workshop make Kuresh? Like they made Cathay Vampire Coast from scratch, besides profitability. Um, it's not CA won't let them, it's Games Workshop. And I have no idea, I don't speak to them. I can't tell you as to why something is happening. 
Yeah, I'm not privy to the conversations. Mistress of Skulls. The road to carnage. We shall weave the fates. Oh yeah, these guys. Fucking Huns. This is a dark fortress, so we don't want to smash it up too much. Good. This is a good settlement for us. I really don't like these guys. Let's fight. I have a feeling that they attempted to make an attack over here and failed. Maybe I should try to wipe them out next turn. The thing is, not next turn, but soon. Because I need to get over here and capture this. As soon as possible. Yeah, there's nothing out this way. That has to be the last settlement that we capture in order to do this right. Decay brings life. Mm hmm. Okay. So, Telepine, we know that there is some um, Empire forces in this area here. It'll take them quite a few turns to get over this way. Kappelberg's another good settlement for us as well. Very difficult to defend these territories. I shouldn't be taxing this. Very difficult to defend it. Alright, we've also got this one here. Is it full-ish strength? Just keep marching. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure we killed their only army. we got to just be quick and finish them off. Alright, I do not want that mount. That is a terrible mount if you want your person to live. <laughs> Very bad yeah. mount. Man, what is with Kolek? Talk about passive. I need him to capture Blizzard Peak. My fellow warlords converge. Do the Kurgan Just and can't talk. get the settlement off them. Alright. You yes, Lord. get over Dying. here so that this is a little bit less defended. Rosina, ready. Hmm. Dominance. Can't do much about any of that. Alright, this army is on the way to come and assist. No Chaos Warrior this turn. Alright, how have we gone for Chaos Warriors out here? There are... there's one. Okay, cool. Because, yeah, it would definitely be better to just skip Marauders altogether and just go straight to Chaos Warriors. Because I only need three more units to fix that up. And there's also this one. Oh, God, you might be quick going through that way. Are you a god? Alright, anything over here? Nope. What about here? Nope. What about here? Comet. Nope. Nothing that we can use for Nurgle. Alright, Middenheim will have defenses built up next turn. I bring despair. Here. Don't care about Middenstag. Let's make our way over to Vismund. How are things going with Azazel? Azazel can be revived, so it's okay if he gets wiped out. Play, we must move. I know most of their forces are here right now. Alright, just go into ambush stance. Blessed be the right there, and we'll ruin 12 this next turn. Actually, going to channeling stance a little bit closer. Don't need to be in that territory. You go into encamp stance because you need to replenish a bit. Okay, that's fine. All right, technologies. We just finished, I think, skulls for the skull throne, so we need to counterbalance the Nesh influence. So that'll be good. Excellent. 
Yeah, Middenheim will be defensible as of next turn. I weave the living forest. Got to deal with them at some point as well. I foresee destruction. Okay. And over here, Altar of Ultimate Darkness. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to give this over to to the Dark Elves. I'm going to give it over to Chaos. Uh, to the um, Norskins. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I, I will give it to them, actually. <laughs> don't want to cause trouble. Good, we can actually make it over here. You don't, you don't, have a, you don't need a siege attack. Just go. Destroy. Should be able to auto this. I thought you said those techs did not work since there's no tag. It's been fixed. It's been fixed. It didn't used to work. They work now. It was never in the patch notes, but we did a bit of a test and they now work. Battle for Echold. The thing is, I don't really need air cold, so... I guess I could, with Archeon. Yeah, you're right, I could. The portents are good. <laughs> so I'll give Har Chaldra over to... Seeking entertainment. Tribesmen, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get you said of this. This way. Speak. Give it to but you. Choose your words with care. Fine. Ooh, but then down this way here, I'm going to give it to um, Norska. But yeah, she's she's liking us. So that's good. My lord. Wasn't expecting that. Alright. Pyrrhic victory, but no units are getting wiped out, so that's fine. We'll recover pretty quickly. And nobody wants to watch another siege. Alright, that looks pretty good. So yeah, we come down over here. It's usually pretty poorly defended. So much death. Never been yeah, he really wants that. peace. Good. Slaughter the sheep. This army has to be handed back soon. Mistress of Harganet. And maybe Hellebron will actually start capturing some of his territory out here. Now that she's actually got some decent amount of territory. Good. All right, that all looks great. Out here, what else are we doing? So, Sigvald hasn't moved. Alright, we've, we've got another unit over here that can go into Chaos Wars, but we should do that at the end of the turn, because it does deplete your movement. I could make my way over to Kappelberg. There's nothing there, but it's it's dangerous to move, because there's, there's armies in this vicinity, and the settlement can't defend itself. It's not a no-defeat campaign, but we haven't suffered a defeat yet, so I'm like, 64 turns, no defeat. I kind of don't want to suffer a defeat. I know the moment that I turn my back on the settlement, an army will come over here and sack it. And it's not like that's a defensible settlement either. And I'm not utilizing the Marauder Horsemen yet either. Chaos. Hmm. The other option is come down here and fight. But this is it's too strong for Sigvald by himself. Too strong for all the armies we're sending down here. Oh, except for Archeon. Archeon can smash him. Um, Alright, send him up ahead. I want to see what's going on in this direction. Searching for prey. Okay, I'm going. Because if we look at Draco, she'll probably, possibly, probably won't declare war on me. You can go and get get that at any time. How do they feel about us? They hate us as well. What 
All right, off we go. Moving farther. Cool. To pleasure and pain. All shall fester. All right, I think that's all my movements. Mm-hmm. Not a particularly eventful turn there. Bit of construction needs to be done. Oh shit. Um some of that stuff was not as important as this here. Much more value in that. Bringer of glory. Alright, so we've got him down to his last few settlements. There should be three remaining, I think. The masters of his four. Uh four remaining. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Now, are you going to be able to reach here? Okay, if he can reach there next turn, that's that's uh, Wolfric under our control, which will be good. Okay, moving on. Kind of feel like I should have actually just destroyed Hockland. Sigma. My hand hovers close to my blade. Utter your demand. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, there's military presence there now. Could be at Castle von Rukun. It's probably where it is. Can have a little bit of a look by doing... Oh, when do we get him back? One turn. What's the likelihood of them declaring war? Plus, it takes more than a turn to get there. Fairly high chance of them declaring war. They're not stronger than us. That war has to commence soon, I think. Doesn't matter. If we suffer a defeat, who cares? Moving on. Will you respect Bellacor in the future? Maybe. Legendary War. Do you think Daniel was testing grounds for dress-up characters in Total War 40k, like Dawn of War 2? I like that one. Maybe. Maybe. But, yeah, I don't know. What could you possibly offer me? Leave me alone. Don't declare war on me. I'll destroy you. Don't declare war on me. Come on. I want to be left alone out here. <laughs> Look at your strength raking. Come on, what are you thinking? She's like, Ugh, you don't have any territory, uh, any armies in that specific region. Like, I can't just pump armies out of my ass. My girlfriend is asking if you tried Baldur's Gate 3 yet. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Uh, it's on my to-do list, along with a lot of other things. It's just not that big of a priority. I, I do want to play it, but just, I haven't had time. There's not enough time to play all the good games that have come out recently. Take on Blizzard Peak. No, don't don't go that way. Why is he so scared to go and attack Blizzard Peak? Too bad it's epic. I oh, know. I just haven't had time. Make time. Honestly, I got way more important things going on in my life at the moment. I would love watching you play Bowls Gate 3. I would never stream it. That would just never happen.
Alright, what do we got here? Vassal gains population surplus, or... I'm not losing campaign movement range. Have you played Candy Crush? No. I don't think that's on my priority list. Okay, Festus is back. Right, there should be giants out this way. A giant is possible to show up here, but it hasn't yet. There's a giant. Giant piece of shit. Alright, he's gonna be walking around for a while looking for all these giants. Yeah, I do like him with a giant stack. It's very good. Apparently they show up a fair bit in Norska. Oh, shh. Tribesmen, gather! Let us corrupt. Slaughter the sheep. Hmm, our army's actually pretty good against that kind of thing. I think we should take out the Hung, because otherwise they're going to... Wait, if I attack the Hung, I can't get Wolfric this turn. And how do they feel about me? They don't hate me. They hate me. I can't do both. I can't attack them and get over here. Everybody else is in position. Longship Graveyard, Pack Ice Bay, and the Black Pit. It has to be this turn. So that's just going to have to wait. You dare! Our fate is clouded! Good. Okay, next one over here. Dominance! A giant Sephestus. Yeah, him with a giant stack is unbelievably powerful. So ridiculously strong. Uh, just occupy it. I don't want to risk anything. Carnets awakened! Alright, that's fine. Good. Good some um, experience on these marauders means This is property of the Gore Queen. Means we can upgrade Consort them to Chaos Warriors. Corn. Even if it's just two of them, that's still better than none. And that will greatly improve their order resolve. And just also make them better on the battlefield as well. Big step up marauders to Chaos Warriors. Decay. They assaulted that army. Delicious agony. As the perfect Kemperbad is a settlement that we don't need to occupy, but I don't have any vassal to feed it to, so it might be best for us to just blow it up. The Dark Prince wishes. All right, Wolfric. I veto this. Should just be an easy order resolve. Yep. Okay, and subjugate. Nice. Now we've got Wolfric the Wanderer as our little bitch. Good, and some bonus versus infantry for Archeon, which isn't too bad, and some charge bonus. Cool. Alright, I reckon Archeon is strong enough to be able to handle all three of these Wood Elves armies. <laughs> Does he have Lightning Strike sorted yet? Yep, just did. Still a lot of work. You definitely want that to be a field battle. Maybe deny enemy reinforcements situation. So if I could just recruit like one Lord, bring it up this way, I can deny their reinforcements. Alright, let's do that. 
So I'm going to get ready to subjugate Laurelorn Forest. Okay. Wolfric, it's time for you to get back the territory that I took from you, like Dietrich's Harfen. You can have that back because it's of no value to me. And you can have a trade agreement as well. Because, yeah, there's nothing that I need to stuff around with there. Now, I would like to give him Middenstag. I think in order to do that, I would have to give him Wiesman first. Not sure. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, Uke Rocket did a 5 dollar super chat. Legend with an armored troll stack. Unpossible. Thanks for the stream, man. Also, super chat order correct is absolutely awful. Yeah, there's a, a lot of the time super chats tend to be um, a bit wonky. It's all good. I actually like reading them out when they're all silly. Did I ever? No, I just skipped over that, didn't I? No, I went straight down. I never bothered with that settlement. Yeah, okay. So Valkyr will send her over to Azazel. Kind of makes sense for Corn to smash Slanesh. You could have a new vassal in Norsica. Which vassal? These guys? They've been confederated. They don't exist anymore. I can't get them. The Sarl I might be able to bring back, but the other one's not. I foresee destruction. Okay. Bring that Dominus. one over this way. You just sit in there. Which legendary lord are missing? There are three. I haven't got three of them, but the main one I'm going for at the moment is the only lord that can't be brought back, which is Village. The other two that I don't have, Kolek and Azazel, can be brought back to life. Okay, I'll definitely give this settlement over to Dolgan. All in due time. Cool. Good, good, good. Alright, so we just got declared war on by this fat bitch. Oh my god, he's... Waitest. Um... Don't what was she thinking? Ingrid. She's got 14 settlements. I guess that's what she was thinking. None of this territory here is... Oh, actually, that's good. Alright, I guess I could peace out with Malekith. And just read... Yeah, get her, him to declare war on the drowned. No, I won't do that. He's at war with the Heralds of Ariel. Alright, that will keep him busy for a while. Uh, maybe not, actually. It looks like he's already progressed quite a bit. Hmm. He'll probably declare war on us again at some point. The problem with going after any of this territory here is I can't feed any of this territory to my vassals without first capturing this settlement here. So I can't get this uh, peace treaty just yet. What we'll do is I was going to go down this way. I'm going to redirect to Racto Gorge, Temple of Cain, Hag Grief, and then go through this way. Call me master. Okay, just go into encamp stance because I can't make it there this turn. You need a boon. Forward unto slaughter. Calling the winds. Guided by Athati. Now they will see true power. Onward to destruction! Oops. Yes, no yes. replenishment for you this turn. Done. On the prowl. Okay, Altar of Ultimate Darkness gets handed My over fellow. to you. Oops. Straight to business. Where shall we raid next? Yeah, it's a shame there's the there's nothing interesting there for us. Maybe take a vassal army, sack city, then give it back. Mm, there, yeah, if there was an army here that I could borrow, that would actually work. There's just nothing here. I could tell this guy to try to 
He wouldn't succeed there, because it's a minor faction trying to take on a major faction. Won't work. These settlements have a lot of defenses. It just, it just won't work. I have to do it myself. Maybe Hellebron. But she's, um, she's still recovering. Alright, I need to do a little bit of scouting, because I kind of feel as though something's coming up this way. Greetings. He's almost willing for peace. If I get a peace treaty with Reichland, I could focus on some other things. If these guys here occupy a settlement, that could be interesting because I could make them a vassal. Oh, no, I don't think I'd want to. Alright, I said I needed to recruit a lord here, not Festus. You'll do. Alright, Festus will be recruited here. those giants. Do I need to respec him? Yes, I do. This is not what we want to see. Alright, respec him. Alright, he'll be back in a few turns, and then we'll... Back. Now, the thing is here, Chaos Giants are actually not Nurgle. They're undivided. So... We've got to somehow get Festus a lot of undivided authority, which it is possible to give him 10. But that's what we need to do if we want to get the maximum benefit out of the Chaos Giants. Too bad we can't dedicate them to Nurgle. Alright, I think we're done with the turn. Still deciding what to do here. Alright, you occupy this. Definitely don't sit inside the settlement and don't develop it. Yeah, don't don't do anything to it, because it's not a defensible position just yet. Yes, my ruinous powers. Destruction for all. Go into ambush dance, that way if they attack us they won't see us coming, maybe they'll underestimate us. Maybe. My adoring hordes agree. See destruction. I'm not sure where we're going to send you next. What's the chances of another Chaos Giant showing up? 11%. Ugh, that is not a great. Bring ruin. Could take a while to get a full load of Chaos Giants. Yep, that's all fine. And I definitely want that. Um, where was I building a whole bunch of stuff that I really didn't need to? Here. Alright, hold off on that. Because if I build this, then everything's going to be a little bit cheaper. So that'll be good. Still want to fight against... them. Yeah, it looks like he's just camping over there. But I need to go back over here and kill off these guys. Doesn't look like they're recruiting any more units. Our armies should be able to handle that. Trolls, uh, I don't mind them now. And Archeon's going to attack this next turn with this guy's help. Okay. So... Let's go with this. Any diplomacy we could do? Nope. come. Not until I get the challenge stone. Ah, uh, not challenge stone. Blizzard Peak. Lover. Yes. All right. It all seems fine. So we should have a pretty big battle coming next turn. Who's this? Unthinkable. That's not a bad army. If 
But they don't stand a chance against Delacour. Alright, let's see what we can do to level him up a bit. Don't have any demons for him right now. Sorry about that right now. And... Wait, are we able to upgrade demonic units? No. Only he can do that. Yeah, they're not listed there. Harbinger. How does he have so much health? No, he doesn't have the bloody trait. Hmm, don't know. I think I'll keep making him a... Oh no, I'd, I'd really love to get Pit of Shades, but... Okay, no, I, I think I might be able to manage that. If I could just do that. Alright, that looks good. Cool. And let's move on. Have you heard anything about Warhammer Fantasy potentially getting support while 40k does if DLC sells well? Love the content. Um, that is not the plan as far as I'm aware. So, it's not impossible. Plans can change. In order for Warhammer Fantasy to be supported while Warhammer 40k is coming out, the DLC has to sell better. There's no two ways about it. You just have to, you have to buy more. They are going to make this attack. That's fine. Alright, I think we need to not control large army here, and I need to make sure that Bellacor's army, uh, Bellacor himself, comes in very early. Yep. So, just, just gotta wait and see. I just, you know, if Thrones of Decay sells above their expectations, then maybe they'll make more DLC. If it doesn't, they might make less. So it just, just don't know. Without having seen the product, I don't know how well it's going to sell. People are still pretty pissed at Creative Assembly. Based on the last video that I made about it, there's still a lot of people that have not forgiven Creative Assembly and just do not want another Shadows of Change style DLC. They just don't want it. Which is fair enough. People have to have their opinions. So Creative Assembly has really soured their own market considerably. They have only themselves to blame. Everybody was telling them they shouldn't be doing it. They plowed ahead, and now they've just lost all the community goodwill. Well, a lot of it. Okay, so that one, which one's Bellicor? Okay, so to ensure Bellicor comes in first, we make the other armies come late. So all we need to do here is hold out for 38 seconds, and then Bellacor comes in. The question is, how down to earth is their expectations? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't work in Creative Assembly. No clue. They're sending those in first. Battle ready. Orders understood. Advance, Spooky! Change will! Dark shards! Spooky! Advancing! For the king! Foul sorcery! Okay, Bellica will show them a thing or two. Alright, then I want these guys showing up here. Maybe, we'll see. Alright, I probably shouldn't be using Pit of Shades because it costs too much. We'll see. Um, do we want to summon them here? Oh shit, no, bring them over here this way. Forget about those Dark Elves, fuck them. Okay, 
kill that lord. Oh, they've also got shades here. Yeah, this here is gonna get fucked up. Big time. There is nothing I can do here. Their forces are just stronger than ours in this situation. I'd need to get Bellacor over there, but let's just try to kill the Lord first. This one here should probably just leave the battlefield. I'm not going to use her magic, just leave. Good. Really good there. Alright, our reinforcements will be coming in fairly soonish. Alright, I'll get over there to try to help them out as best we can. Okay, change your plans again. Shit. Damn it. Oh, damn it. That was bad timing. I don't want them here now. <laughs> I want them over there. It's too late now. Just come over from over here. I can make this work. I can make this work still. It's not good timing. Shit, look at how much ammo these guys have now. How's Bellicor doing? Okay, Bellicor, fuck those guys over there. Get over here. one. A lot of trash coming in here. Get rid of their spellcasters. Huh, we actually kind of repelled them over here. That's nice. Kill them all. She unbreakable. Yep, she's unbreakable. That actually works for us because she's going to die. Good. Oh, she was only temporarily unbreakable. Okay, never mind. Alright, that looks pretty good right there. Put that down. Did I kill this guy? Is he unbreakable as well? Yeah, it's, they've just got a few crown of commands. Still got plenty of reinforcements. Over there, harass that. 
Some shades in the way there. My coronation at once. Let your domain. Sorcerer of chaos, boon of Zinch. Yes! I am eternal! True power, I go, moving fast. I am all go! And take, need Bellico to take out these damn heroes. Alright, I think it's going fine. Obviously a bit of damage, we're not, there's not a clean win here. But most of the first army is gone. What do you bet? Ah! I go. You will. Bring us to Carnet. Reality bend. You will run! The gods do not Yeah, the first army is pretty much beaten. Okay, Belk will take out that Medusa there. And the second army is not that dangerous. Alright, you can leave the battlefield. I think they actually used up all their ammo. You can leave as well, and so can you. Yeah, the first army is in full retreat now. And we still have a decent amount of reserves. Yeah, we got this. We'll be fine. Bellacor is fine. Still got decent magic. Yeah, no, that's not really bad here. It's just a mess to begin with, that's all. Good. Starting to get our own units rather than the Dark Elf crap. Actually, the Dark Elf units are pretty good. The Dark Gods command me! Throwing access! Something! Call me Dark Master! Spell cut! Good. Okay, the getting shot up a bit, but it is fine. Nice blob over there for our spell. And we want Bellicor to get into melee with those Medusas, because going into infantry here just doesn't really dish out that much damage in melee. We need to go fight a Medusa. And, as always, they just don't want to engage with someone that strong. Okay, trying our best to get organized. Bring us to 
So this is where all that wood is really coming in handy because of all the extra ammunition. These guys have really proven themselves quite effective in this battle now. Alright, reinforcements. Yeah, we've still got a bit more to come. All good. A lot of missile units coming in. We should use the portal glyph again. That's so far been pretty damn handy. Take out that Don't bring him in close to the long range archer. Well, longer range archers, I should say. So yeah, using these guys here as distractions while the main army advances on them. That's the plan though. Need to get these guys to go hit their artillery. Come up through this way and get them. And we are milling them. Nice. So much for close defeat. We didn't even bring in all of our reinforcements. It was a mess to begin with, but we got them in the end. Good thing most of our army is already in camp stance. So we'll actually get replenishment, even if they were in foreign territory. Good, killed it. Good, I don't want to fight that one again next turn. You will run. Good. All right, we're done here. Looks like we got a bit of a red alert. Oh, it was only brief. We're good. We're good. If Warhammer is ever to be made into an anime, who would your waifu be, and why is it Throg? Okay. Uh, do you think Warhammer 3 Remaster, a repackaging on a new engine of the whole 123 Project games is feasible? I'd buy further support for a game of this caliber. Uh, there are many games that have even higher combined price paradox, but I understand if they can't update the game much because of the technical debt. I don't see anything like that happening with Total War Warhammer. Not for at least a decade. Uh, Kars Kick? Karzik? Subscribe with Prime? Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Alright, let's sacrifice the captives. How's, how bad's the damage? Uh, no units wiped out. Their army is fucked up big time. Cool. You are utterly without use. I think that auto resolver was not being generous towards us. But who'd been my waifu? Uh, probably, um... Nastra. I don't know. I don't care.
Not Silostra? Ah, uh, no, no, I don't think so. No, my first defeat. There's no. Oh, uh, hang on. Can I win that? Maybe, maybe, with the Marauder Horseman, maybe I can overcome it. All right. All right, guys, I have to really bring in the big guns here. I outnumber them by two units. We'll have to hide our infantry and use our cavalry to begin with. I need to use the doggos to kill these because yeah we got we got ammo we got ammo that doesn't take that much into consideration we need to use the ammo to specifically kill this one here now okay all right we need to be hiding in the forest not not necessarily hiding in the forest i just need to be in the fighting in the forest so reveal yourself here we need them to come up this way. Hide them. These two hide over Shmyar. Okay. Mm, can't see us. Here we go. Because this guy here, if he goes and fights a bunch of Chaos Warriors, I don't think that's going to work out too well for him. 